All right, boys, what's going on? We are live for, I think it's 89, Vegas 89. So I think I'm here for the first fight. I don't know yet. I got to pull up the ESPN stream. It looks like I have not. Ah, oh, I have. I missed the first round. You got to be kidding me. So I missed the first round. What happened in the first round? I have no idea. Damn, they started quick. I thought I was going to make it. What the hell? I just literally had everything set up and then went and took a shower. Um, But yeah, so I missed the first round. We're in the second round of Usman versus Parkin. And uh, it's 412. Usman won the first round, is what you guys are saying? Okay. Ooh, nice right hand by Parkin. So apparently Usman's a massive favorite now. So I thought Usman would be the would be the more powerful striker. And mix in the grappling as well. Did he mix in the grappling at all in the first round? I wish I could have started my timer. Had I been here 20 seconds earlier, I could have. We're at 340 in the second round right now of Usman Parkin. You know what's weird? My ESPN stream must have been lagging when I had it off screen. Because it was on a commercial when I pulled it up. And then I hit live and boom, it was in the second round. I was like, fuck! But the general consensus is that uh, Usman won the first round. Is that the general consensus? I think I picked Usman by second round KO, if I'm not mistaken. I got to look at my topology. I forgot my picks. I've been pumping out so much content recently. It's been crazy. Ooh, nice jab to the body by Usman. Leg kick by Parkin. At least I'll be able to judge this round. I saw literally 90% of this round. They're both so horrible. Jab from Parkin. I'm surprised Usman's not looking to mix in the grappling at all. Ooh, big right hands by both guys, Land. Jab from Usman. Usman's jab has improved. I talked about that in my uh, predictions. Right hand from Usman misses. Jab to the body from Usman. Nice leg kick from Parkin. Parkin's only landing the leg kick, it seems, so far. Parkin's bleeding, though, after that right hand landed it. This is a, I knew this was going to be a super low-level fight. Right hand from Usman lands. Parkin's like fainting with leg kicks. Nice right hand to the body by Usman. Combination from Parkin lands, but just baby shots. Parkin has literally no power. Leg kick from Parkin after a jab to the body from Usman. Jab from Parkin. Ooh, nice right hand by Parkin. Leg kick from Parkin. I don't know how Usman's not looking to take him down at all. Usman's not addressing the leg kick at all, which could be a problem. Which could be a problem. Jab from Usman. He was landing the jab in his last fight as well. Jab from Usman again. And he's a check that kick though when he throws it again. I mean, it's, it's not he's not even setting it up. He's just throwing it out there. But it's just one leg kick, and then he's fainting it. But then he's throwing it here and there. Hasn't thrown any in a minute though. Right hand from Usman misses. Another leg kick by Parkin. Jab to the body by Usman. Right hand from Parkin. Parkin has no power at all. Usman throws two jabs, but both of them miss. Inside leg kick from Parkin. Parkin's kicks don't even look that. Dude, Jamal Pogues was out clinch work in Parkin. I don't know how Usman's not. Make him pay for, for the leg kick. Throws another leg kick. Right hand to the body from Usman. This is so low level. Big right hand from Usman lands. Round the guard. Ten seconds left. That's a close round. That's a close round. That's a 50-50 round, to be honest. It was the leg kicks versus the power shots of uh, Usman. Basically. So... 
Let's go here. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't believe I missed the first round. I'm going to say 10-9 Usman, but honestly, it could go either way. It's depending on what you favor more, the jabs from Usman and a couple big right hands or um, the leg kicks of Parkin in that second round. So, it's one or the other. By the way, I'm four subscribers away from 19,000. I just checked. That's wild. That is wild, boys. Third round about to begin. Here we go. Hopefully that worked. Okay. But it could be 1-1 right now from what you guys are telling me about the first round. That little graphic looks better than the entire poster. Usman tends, it seems like Usman tends to take a round off too, by the way. Both of them do. Nice jab from Parkin. Jab from Parkin. Yeah, it could be one apiece, it could be 2 -0 Usman, from what you guys are telling me about the first round. But it seems like the general consensus is Usman won the first round. Leg kick from Parkin. Jab to the body. Usman's been beating up the body with them jabs too. I just can't believe Usman hasn't tried to bully him against the fence at all. Ooh, nice left hand by Usman. Right on the chin. Jab to the body from Usman. It seems like Usman's picking up the pace in this round. Usman looks like he's just trying to land a KO shot. Like, he keeps, like, loading up on the right hand, squatting down, like Michael Chandler style almost. Jab to the body from Usman. Inside leg kick from Parkin. Dude, Parkin has no power. Usman with a right hand to the body. Holy shit, it's already been a minute and a half? Dude, whoever loses this fight is going to be so mad at themselves. Leg kick from Parkin. Big right hand from Usman misses. Nothing but air. Dude, I feel... Why is Usman showing him so much respect? That's what I don't understand. Parkin literally throws no power shots and has no power to begin with. And dude's throwing Superman punches and look like he's about to fall over. Right hand from Parkin. Yeah, no takedowns from Mel. I knew this was going to be a shit fight. Right hand from Parkin, but just kind of on the end of it. Jab from right hand from, jab, jab from Usman, right hand from Parkin. Good leg kick. Right hand from Usman lands as he eating a leg kick. They're shit. Usman saying we got to go right hand. Jab from Parkin. Dude, Usman's going to kick himself after this. You're not being aggressive at all. They're like sparring here. Jab from Parkin. Parkin's the favorite now. That's crazy. Right hand from Parkin. Parkin's winning this round now. He's landed a couple good right hands. And Usman's just not doing shit and we're two minutes left. Jab from Parkin. Yeah, Parkin's going to end up winning this fight, especially if he gets round two. He's winning this third round. Big reaction off a leg kick from Parkin. That's crazy. These are they, these heavyweights are so bad. Oh, nice right hand by Usman. Oh, big combination from Usman. I'm surprised he didn't hurt Parkin there. It looked like it landed clean. Usman's just, oh, big left hand from Usman just barely misses. If he throws more combos like that, he's bound to land. Another leg kick from Parkin. Nice 
Last minute of the round. It's anybody's fight, really. Parkins' team screaming every time he lands a shot. I swear it's to encourage the judges. This is so bad. Leg kick kind of stumbles Usman a little bit. Oh, big right hand from Usman lands. Dude, they're garbage. I mean, they're so bad. This fight's actually pissing me off. I feel like either one of them could pick up the pace that could win them the fight. Left hand from Usman. Usman going after him here. Go after him. Good knee from Parkin at the end, right hand. Where was that at the end? I hate when these guys do shit. Do shit. Honestly, last two rounds could go either way. I think Parkin's going to end up getting it. But that's a shit fight. I scored the third round for Parkin. What a horrible fight. What a horrible fight. Probably going to be 29, 28 parking would be my guess. What a super low level shit fight that was. I knew that was going to be so shitty. Amanda Hebas. I think it's going to be 29, 28 parking. I have it 29, 28 Usman though. If the first round is what you guys told me it was. We'll see. They're about to read the decision now. It's going to, it's all three judges. 29 28 is going to be parking watch. It's Mel Usman. Oh, Mick Parkin's undefeated. Usman's pissed. That's what you get for not fighting, bro. That's what you get for not fighting. You didn't fight worth a fuck in the third or second round, you dumb fuck. What a shit fight. Cut them both. What a shit fight. That's what Usman gets for not fighting in the second and third round. Yeah, I hate heavyweight too. And dude never shot or never tried any clinch control too. And Parkin's horrible in terms of clinch control. Scott Smith back in strike force. I tapped him up. No, I do not remember him. What's next? How do you feel about your career? Usman fucked up. He didn't fight. He literally didn't fight in the last two rounds. I mean, what do you expect? If you don't fight in the last two rounds, you deserve to get robbed. So I don't even, I'm not angry for him. I won't be angry for him. And uh, he deserves to lose in a way. In a way, he deserves to lose because he's an embarrassment for not fighting. Like, I don't get this. And then the last 10 seconds, you get all aggressive and then throw your hands up in the air. Dude gave it away. Dude gave this shit away. What a what a complete atrocious embarrassment. So It is what it is. That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't fight. 
Or I hate when dudes get takedowns. You'll notice that sometimes you, people get takedowns in a close fight, and they don't even try to throw like little tiny ground and pound shots to sway the judges. And then you have Park and you have Park and uh, what was I gonna say? What the fuck? I forgot I was gonna say that quick. Yeah, Park and just throwing leg kicks the whole time, I think is what I was gonna say, but I don't know. So Joey lagging? Nah, I think I was just I don't know. But yeah. So next fight should be a banger. Oh my god, that countdown actually hurts my soul. Because that countdown's to the main event. I don't know if I can keep doing this. I'm going to turn down my lights a little bit. My lights feel super bright. Let's see if I can turn these down a little bit. Wish I could have it like that. But that's too much, I think. I think I'm going to do it like that. Does that seem too dark for you guys? I'm sure it looks fine. Let me get a look. Eh, it does look a hair dark, in my opinion. I'll turn it back up a little bit. I'll go right there. That's what I'm doing. Only watching the CPAP Aries eyes. I landed in Vegas today and I thought I saw Nina Drama getting picked up at the airport by a black SUV. She took off quick. I don't mind fighters getting paid more money, but you have to earn the money. You can't get paid more money for doing nothing. Okay. Did you watch Roadhouse yet? No, and I probably won't, to be honest. I ain't got time to watch some shit-ass movie. I ain't got time to watch some shit. So, I don't know. I don't know if this is still good or not. I can turn up that one, all right. I think that's going to be good. It is what it is. See, Fabi is back. I have not seen... I've seen people talking about him in like a video of him, but that's it. So... Yeah, every every judge gave uh, two and three to McParkin off the leg kicks, basically. Uh, he extorted 100k from the nightmare. I did see that. Yeah, I did see that. Joe, you're handsome in any lighting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate the love. They give it to Parkin because of Usman's political affiliations. That's what I'm thinking. All right, Andre Lima's walking out. This should be actually a banger. This should actually be a banger. So, we'll see what happens. But it should be a banger for sure. Instead of review of Roadhouse, just do a roast. Yeah, but I don't think I can stomach watching the entire thing. Watching the trailer was enough for me to just want to be like, eh, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, buddy. Damn, that first fight was... Damn. That was such a shit fight to start off the night. No wonder they put him as the very first prelim. No wonder they put him as the very first prelim. That's what they deserve. Anyway, this next fight should be a banger. Someone should get finished. I was 50-50 on this pick. I don't, actually, you know what? I think this is a fight where neither guy's been finished and both guys have shown durability. I actually picked Lima via decision. Yeah, I picked Lima via decision. But it wouldn't shock me if there was a finish in this fight. They're, both of them are savages. 
seen better acting. Dude, you watched the entire thing. You watched the entire thing? That's crazy, bro. The trailer looks so bad. It looks so fucking bad. Whew. The CIA should use Roadhouse as a torture tactic. I agree. 100% agree. They should. So this, yeah, so that light's down a little bit. I can see it in the stream. I'm looking at it right now, but it still looks good. All right, I already changed the graphic. You liked Roadhouse? Well, shame on you then. I couldn't even get through the trailer, man. The trailer was horrible. The trailer was horrible. But this fight should be way better than that little piece of shit we saw. Chandler's taking a break from his fight camp to watch the fights right now. That he is. Seeing Roadhouse was like eating at Wingstop. Basically. Alright. Next fight's about to begin. Igor Severino versus Andre Lima. Severino is wild and crazy. Lima's a little bit more technical. That's why I picked Lima. And a little bit older. So I figured he's a little bit wiser. Figured he's a little bit wiser. Dude's got a Dragon Ball Z tattoo as well. So. I feel like this lighting is off now. It's bothering me. I think I had it like that before. Sao Paulo, Brazil. All right, that's back to normal, I think. All right. 22.45. All right. Leave the lights alone. Shut up. Shut up. I'll do what I want. America's Best Wings is the one I told you I like. But usually it seems like the local places have the best wings, to be honest. Looks like Don Davis sitting ringside. All right, let's see. First round's about to begin. Here we go, first round. Someone's losing. Ooh, leg kick from Lima. Lima's just a little bit more technical, I thought. So, Severino is way more aggressive. Leg kick from Severino. Front kick attempt by Lima blocked. Ooh, big left hand by Severino. Just barely misses. Ooh, nice leg kick by Lima. This is going to be a banger fight. Ooh, big right hand by Severino. Ooh, Lima... Oh, Severino looking for a single leg here. It's going to get the takedown, looks like. Oh, Lima took it. Lima got taken down, but Lima gets back to a knee. Gives up his back up against the fence here. Severino looking to drag him back down, but he fights. He gets wrist control. He's fighting the wrist here. He's got two on. He's on his. Severino's on Lima's back here a little bit. Trips him back down. Looking to set up a rear naked. Oh, if he don't tuck his chin, he could give up a rear naked here. Lima's going to try to explode up. Lima's going to end up on top here. Nope. Lima ends up back up. Now they're clenched up on their feet. Good exchange there. This whole fight's already better than the heavyweight matchup. Good knee to the body by Lima. The good knee to the body. Another good knee to the body by Lima. Severino versus position. Good knee to the body by Severino, but he tries to get a takedown. He ends up on bottom. Now he's scrambling back to his feet. Now Lima pulls guillotine. He's got it. He's got it. It looks tight. 
But his defense is in the way, so he might get out of it. He got out of it because the fence was in the way. He could have had him mounted. Elbow from the bottom from Lima. Oh, look for Omoplata. He might get it. He might get an Omoplata here. Bare minimum, he's probably going to sweep with it. Dude, imagine he gets him a plot here. That'd be nuts. Dude, the arm's in a horrible spot here. Don't grab the fence. Oh. Elbow to the ribs. The ref, Why is this ref acting like this? He's going to end up on top. His arm's still trapped in there, but he scrambles out. Front headlock position now for Severino. Dude, he had a deep guillotine there. And that's why he pulled it, but the fence was in the way. He could have ended up in mount how deep the D18 it was. Uppercut from Severino. Nice jab from Lima. Both guys are so good. Good leg kick by Severino. Jab from Severino. Good leg kick by Lima. Ooh, nice uppercut by Severino. Shoots in on another takedown. Going to get it. Let's see how their gas tanks is. Ooh, Lima ends up. Lima, Lima's back on his feet now is what I was trying to say. There was a crazy exchange up by the fence here. Nice left hand by Severino. Was it a shot to the back of the head though? Left hand by, by Severino. Ooh, step in elbow just hurt Severino. Step in elbow hurt him. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's going after him, but he's swinging too wild. Severino shoots on a takedown. Stuffed. He was hurt from that step and elbow. Oh, big right hand by Lima. Or by Severino. Both of them landed elbows. Both guys landing. Oh, right hand to the body by Lima. Nice jab from Lima. Right hand to the body by Lima. Severino getting aggressive. Oh, step and elbow by Severino. Leg kick from Severino. Leg kick from Lima. Leg kick from Severino. They're just trading leg kicks now. Oh, both throwing elbows again. Oh, throws a kick, ends up on his back. Scrambles, ends up back up. Puts his finger in his mouth for a second there. Did anybody see that? Nice right hand by Lima. It, right now, just kind of trying to guess the way they look like. It looks like Severino has the better cardio right now. Rima, Lima's ripping big shots. There's a body kick about to get taken down. Gets single leg down, but he scrambles immediately out of it. I think Lima won that round. Shut up, wing stop. That was a crazy round. That's 10-9 Lima. All right. Dude made a, somebody made a wing stop account. I'm fucking done. I'm done. What the fuck's the ref talking about? I swear these refs are always on power trips. There we go. Let's see who has better cardio. Ooh, big one, too, from uh, Lima. Head kick just misses for Severino. Jab from Severino. Severino's backing him up. I wish this was a bigger cage. Ooh, right hand from Lima. Lima's outclassing him a little bit here. Ooh, big right hand again as Severino misses. Ooh, nice left hand by Severino. It's clearly Lima's more technical. Nice leg kick by Severino. What are you stopping it for, bro? 
Oh my god, because his fingers were out. Didn't even result in a fucking eye poke, and you're starting it. These referees are fucking annoying. Shut up, dude. There was no foul, so why are you stopping it? Fucking idiots. I hate these refs, man. I swear they're on power trips lately. Jab from Lima. Fuck up my timer. 4.15 left. Lima's clearly landed the bag of shots. Leg kick from Lima. But Severino's one big shot away from rocking him. Right hand from Severino as I say that. But Lima's just a little bit crisper. Good good defensive responsibility up against the fence. Blocks all those or dodges them. Good knee to the body. By, ooh, big knee upstairs by Severino. But I don't think it hurt him. Ooh, big step in elbow again from Lima. Ooh, another step in elbow from Lima. Jab from Lima. Did it really? Ooh, right hand from Lima. Lima's went three minutes and 30 seconds left. Severino looking for another takedown. He gets it. He hasn't hold him down at all. He's got his feet on his hips. Hasn't tried to scramble up this time. Look, he's setting up a Kimura. Oh, Lima's trying to scramble up here. Oh, he needs to grab the fence. He couldn't see it in the camera angle. The ref told him if you grab it again, I'm going to take a point. So. Knee to the asshole. He's up to his feet. In the first round, he wasn't really grabbing. He just kind of had the fingers in there. They never take any point. Dude's grabbing his dick. Look at this. He's grabbing his dick. He was grabbing his dick. He's grabbing the fence again. What are you doing, ref? This dude's a fucking idiot. He bit him, he's saying. He bit me. But he's going to take a point for he's going to take a point for grabbing the fence. Watch mark my words. He's saying he bit him. He's saying he bit him. I thought he was going to duck a point for grabbing the fence. He was grabbing his dick too. Did anybody else see him grabbing his dick? Did anybody else see him grabbing his dick? Did anybody else see that? Let me know in chat. Hurry up. He was grabbing his dick too. And he's grabbing his dick. He's He was grabbing his dick too. Dude was biting him and grabbing his dick. I think that's a horrible call, though, to DQ him right off jump. Because it could have been an accident. It could have been an accident, though, but he was grabbing his dick, too. Never mind. Never mind. The mark is crazy. Holy fuck. The mark is crazy. Never mind. That's the right call. 100% right call. That's fucking wild. Serverina was biting him while grabbing his cock. Dude, that's fucking nuts. I'm going to take a screenshot of it.
Holy fuck! I thought maybe it could have been a mistake. That's wild. Dude bit him hard, too. That's wild. I want to see what they say in the interview. Dude needs to get caught for that type of behavior. That's crazy. That's wild. That is fucking wild. Dude was biting him while grabbing his cock and balls. Say, so yeah, give me that cock and balls and let me bite you while I do it too. That's fucking crazy. I thought it might have been the wrong call. Like, maybe he could have done it by accident. But then after seeing that shit. Bro said, let me taste that bicep. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well, if that was Mark Goddard, they would have just stopped the fight and said, you can't call for a stop. That's fucking wild. I can't even get over that shit. Dude was straight pulling on his cup, too, while he was biting him. Did Usman get robbed? No. Chandler's going to try that move against Connor. Dude's got teeth marks. I'm fucking done. Dude got DQ'd for biting. What's crazy is Lima was grabbing the fence again multiple times too. I'm telling you right now, Lima was cheating too, though. I think the ref stopped it because of the fence grabs initially. Yeah, Lima was cheating bad for, for sure. Oh, for sure. Grabbing someone's dick and biting them. What if Lima snuck in with a bite? But still, when you're grabbing the fence like that, too, you're a bitch, too. Shit's wild. That's facts.
<sighs> Dude's an idiot for that. Yeah, I'm not defending Igor. I'm just thinking about something. I think the ref stopped the fight. I'm going to go back and watch it. I think he stopped the fence because of the fence grabs. And then he saw what was going on. Why didn't the ref get in there? What what was the ref doing? He's screaming time. Why is the ref going time, 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 time? He's standing away from him. Did anybody else notice the ref? That was Tyone, right? Mike Tyone? Isn't that his name? That's wild. So here's what I think happened, boys. Now that I've had time to go back and reassess it. I think it's Chris Tyone, right? I think he saw the fence grabs and he said time. Time. Because he was going to address the fence grabs. But then once he saw the bite mark, he's, he's he changed course. Does anybody agree with me? But he's like, he's standing five feet away. He's like, time. Time. Uh, Jungle Mania, thank you for the $2 dono. Joe, we meet again for another shitty Apex card. That's facts. Dude wanted some flesh. Dude bit him in the clinch while grabbing his cock. And got DQ'd for it. Dude bit him hard too. But I think Chris Tyone called a, a time for the fence grabs. And then saw the bite mark. And immediately pivoted. Which good for him. Dude, it's a good thing he wasn't biting his dick. I'm tweeting that out, though. I 100% believe the ref was stopping the fight due to the fence grabs and then immediately pivot it to address the bite once once he realized it happened yeah I think that's what happened that's fucking wild Mark Goddard would have took a point for the fence grab and not address the bite at all Finish with some Colby Covington type finish. Basically, that's how he would win. Was the bite really bleeding? Dude, look on look on Twitter. I reposted it. I don't know if it was actually bleeding, but it was it was looking nasty. It looked like it might have been bleeding, but it was kind of grainy. Bro said, let me chomp on that bicep. I don't know why I've still got this headphones on. I gotta I gotta work on taking my headphones off more often. Because that shit kills me. That shit kills me. Yeah, but I 100% believe Tyone was stopping the fight for the fence grabs and then decided to address the, the poke, the bite instead. There was a left-hand side that looked a little bit red, so it, there's po it possibly may have been bleeding. There's a chance. Anyway, Chandler beats McGregor by ball fondling. Yeah. That's nuts. Tapology doesn't let me get an option for DQ. I was gonna be, he chomped him, straight up chomped him, bro. Straight up chomped him. Dude was grabbing his dick and balls too and squeezing. It appeared to me. It appeared to me like he had a, a little cock grab too. 
at least in my humble opinion. Um, Dana might cut him from the UFC. He should. He should cut him. You can't act like that. All right. Let me change my banner. We got the next fight coming up. Rendon versus Zelahinia Kalvov. Which I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Who's a good striker but has no grappling at all. <laughs> this type of behavior common. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Is she copying Piotrion's walkout? Dude was, dude's hungry. Dude was hungry for a win. Joey couldn't read that. No, I'm not reading that, bro. All right. Chandler's, Chandler's only got one dick on his mind. That's facts. That's straight up facts, bro. I got one thing on my mind. Yeah, Chandler's definitely going to try to pull that move. Watch Daria Zelhelen Yakovov. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Watch her um, pull it off. I picked against her because she has shit grappling, but she has good striking. She has good striking. It's sad that Igor Dube was 20 and now he's going to get booted from the UFC. Oh, he's got to get booted. He's got to get booted, right? There's no way. But who knows? What's her name? Remember was Eye Galgen? I can picture her face, but I can't remember her name off the top of my head. She was Eye Galgen. She's the one that just charges forward and throws big shots. She's Brazilian. I can picture her face right now, but I can't remember her name. Does anyone remember her name off the top of their head? I don't feel like Googling it. The girl that was eye gouging. I can picture her face, but I can't remember her name. Oh, yeah, Priscilla Cachoeira. Cachoeira. Damn, that's wild. All right, we're moving along pretty fast. So that's sweet. Russian chick losing in the first round. I think I picked her to lose in the second round. No, I picked Rendon by decision. I thought I picked her. I thought I picked her to get the finish. Did that fuck up? Yeah, Casueta. All right. 48. I'll say 49. No. Rendon is how you pronounce it. I thought it was Rendon. Yeah, fuck. I picked the wrong... I picked the wrong thing on Tapology. How do I not check this shit? At least I still picked the right fighter. I just picked her by decision. Which probably better pick. Maybe I changed my mind. I always pick the Russian female fighters. Okay. For somehow I fucked up on Tapology and picked decision. I actually picked uh, Kovov to get finished. But maybe I changed my pick to decision after the fact. And I was like, you know why am I picking her via finish? Zezlia Kova? I don't fucking know. She's old as shit. How long are you going to take to announce this, bro? Rendon. The Russian girl, the Russian girl, uh, definitely gasses and has no grappling. So, but Rendon is garbage. All 
All right, onward. Montserrat Rendon. I still saying Rendon. Damn, the Russian girl's big too. Ooh, big right hand from the Russian girl. Ooh, another right hand. Ooh, big right hand by Rendon. Oh, ugly striking by Rendon. Oh, my God. She's punching air. Oh, big right hand. Zlesnia Kova. Zlesnia Kova. I can't say it. Dude, they're both actually bad, but Rendon is horrible striking. I'm waiting for her to shoot. Oh, there she is, and the other girl's got zero striking. The little zero grappling gets taken down immediately. She has no grappling at all. Let's see if she's improved. She's dragging herself to the thing. She's still fresh. Oh, look, she gets a mount, but half three quarter mount, but it's up against the fence though. She's going to try to get to a knee here. Easy takedown. But let's see if she can get up. She's still fresh. In the first round, she might be able to still get up. She's about to get to a knee. But she's still... She gets up to her feet. They're in the clinch. Let's see if she gets her back down again. Good little dirty boxing from Kova. Don't let her grab that fence. They're in the clinch here. See if Rendon can get her back down again. Looks like she's going to fight out. Have a good knee to body by Kova. Z Z I can't say her name at all. Zelesnia Kova. Zelesnia Kova. The sound word it is. They're still in the clinch here. She's about to drag her back down again, maybe. Looks like she was about to get her. She's trying to trip her. She's got the body lock here. And this is making uh, Zelesnia Kova work. She's about to force out of this position, but she's forcing Zelesnia Kova to work. And she has horrible cardio. But her grappling was decent there. She got back up. So let's see what happens now. Both a little bit tired. Nice jab from Zelesnia Kova. I think I'm saying her name right now. Zelesnia Kova. Just no H, right? Uppercut misses for Zelesnia. Nah, I fucked it up. Zelesnia Kova. Just basically copy, skip the X to the H. Dude, they're both so bad. Ooh, Rendon lunges in with a right hand to the shoulder. Zelesnia Kova's worried about the takedown. Horrible entry by Rendon. She's just chasing her down now. Look, Zelesnia Kova's already tired, boys. Do you guys see this or no? Am I wrong or is Zelesnia Kova already tired from that get up? I told... I, I, never mind, I'm not even going to say it because then she can get KO'd. They almost head clashed there. It's on ESPN Plus, bro. <laughs> They're both so bad. I'm laughing my ass off right now. I don't think Zelesnia Kova is getting up that easy next time. She gets taken down again. She gets her pushed up against the fence here. Run done looking for a body lock takedown. She's got her up against the fence. I. She's trying to circle out, but she's making her work some more here. And I'm telling you, Zelesnia Kova, I watched the fight of her. She completely gassed out. She gets taken down easily with 30 seconds. Now, do a little bit of damage here. Do a little bit of damage here, and you got the round. Because she's landed decent on the feet as well. Do a little bit of damage, Rendon. Do a little bit of damage. Throw a couple shots. You're just holding on to her for the last... That's crazy. Not a single shot even thrown. Never even tried to get her arms back. 
I think Rendon took that round anyway, though. Neither one of them landed good shots. And and they both... I mean, Rendon even landed a couple shots on the chin, to be honest. So, both it was even on the feet. Do, do, do. I'm giving it a 10-9, Rendon. It's not like Zelezniakova just completely outstruck her. It was close on the feet, and then she... And then, uh... What's her name out of two takedowns? And I'm telling you, Zelezniakova is absolutely gassed right now, boys. Absolutely gassed. 100% gassed. They're gonna trade barbs! What a cornball-ass name, by the way. Look, Zelezniakova coming out aggressive because she had a minute to rest. But she's garbage. Clinch up, right hand from Rendon. I don't believe that she doubled the same amount, doubled the amount of signature strikes landed or total strikes landed. What a joke that stat is. Neither one of them landed that much. Oh, nice jab from Zelezniakova. Jab from Rendon. I'm done, dudes. Rendon with an ugly entry. Oh, nice jab from Rendon. I don't believe those stats at all. I thought it was even on the feet, basically. Like, Zelezniakova was clearly the better striker, but it's not like she completely outclassed her. Nice jab from Rendon. She's landed multiple jabs. She's outstriking her right now a minute into the second round. Rendon is outstruck her. She's an idiot for not trying to get her hands right back and trying to land some shots. Ugh, ugly. Right hand lands for Rendon. Dude's staring at her jugs. I'm done. Dude, I swear Rendon is winning this on the feet right now. Is literally winning this on the feet, and they're acting like she's getting outclassed. This is crazy. L look look at Zelezniya Kova's literally getting busted up by jabs. Her face is more damaged. Her face is more damaged. She's eight and more shots this round. Look, look I mean, this, this commentary is horrible. They're acting like Zelezniya Kova is literally just outclassing her on the feet because they know she's a better striker. Jabs from Rendon lands again, busted up her nose. Busted up her nose. She's easily winning this round on the feet. Rendon's winning this round on the feet right now. She's landed the better shots. It's because Lesney and Kova's worried about the takedown. Jab from both of them land. They're both just throwing the ugliest jabs. Oh, almost a head clash there. Might have been a head clash. Might have been a head clash there. There might have been a head clash there. They're in the clinch here. Yeah, they're fighting in slow-mo for sure. So Lesnia Kova was losing on the feet. She was getting walked down too. Look how busted up she is. Exactly, Felder. She's been winning. She's been winning on the feet. Right hand from Rendon lands. So Lesnia Kova is missing her shots and Rendon's landing jabs. End of story. And they're acting like this motherfucker's butchering her on the feet. Look how busted up she is. There might have been a head clash to help attribute that a little bit at the, the second there, but it was before that head clash. Oof. Dude, now they're saying it was just one good pop to the nose. Dude, they can't get off a narrative. They're just stuck on a narrative. Hopefully the commentators can't hear this shit because Rendon's clearly winning. She's walking her down and jabbing her in the face. Big right hand from Rundown as she misses a combination. She's literally outstriking her, and the commentary is so biased here. And I swear to God, if I hear people scream robbery after Rundown wins, Rundown lands a jab, and, and 
Uh, Zelezniakova misses. Right hand from Zelezniakova misses again. What's up, Joe? I know you're a fan. Perverse qu- quality over quantity. But me, for me, after working Monday, Friday, I enjoy watching UFC every Saturday. I understand. So some cards are garbage, man. I'd rather do other things. Spinning back fist from Zelezniakova partially lands. Rendon clearly won this round. All striking clearly won this round. Clearly won this round. It's not even up for debate here. Lands a left hand there. Rendon landed a left hand. Hurt her. Split her open even more. Because she's winning on the feet. Commentary team. Looking for... She grabbed the fence to avoid a takedown. Take a fucking point. She grabbed again. She gets her down. I got a hair in my mouth. She gets her down. She grabbed the fence twice. Take a fucking point, you clown. This shit's ridiculous. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, Sanko. She doesn't need to get any damage. And she completely outclassed her this round. That's crazy. That's crazy. That shit's crazy, man. This shit drives me nuts. The commentary is is horrible for this fight. Rendon is legit outclassing her. And the commentary is acting as if she's losing. That's crazy. I mean, that's 10-9, rend on, no doubt. Dude, outclassing is just a term I was using. Obviously, neither one of them are good, but Rendon literally beat the fuck out of her that entire round. And they're acting like the other woman's winning. Dude, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. She beat the fuck out of her. Literally beat the fuck out of her. Look how busted up she is. I care because I fucking hate the commentary. They do this shit on big fights, too. They, no, the commentary's so bad. Rendon's clearly winning, and they're acting as if she's losing, and she's not getting outclassed. That's crazy to me. That pisses me off. That shit pisses me off. I think Rendon won both rounds, dude. Rendon landed the better shots in the first round and got two takedowns. So, you, p- mad people are going to get confused because of the commentary team. I mean, literally... That girl, Lesniakova, has literally not landed shit. Not landed a single fucking thing. The commentary team's horrible. Everything she throws misses. I don't know how anyone thinks she's winning at all. I'm not betting at all. I don't give a fuck about this fight. I just hate the commentary. They do this for big fights, too. They do this shit for big fights, too. Right hands from Rendon lands. I don't pay rent, motherfucker. So, joke's on you. I just hate bad commentary. They're living in another reality because they came in. They came in with a mindset that Zelezniakova is winning if it's on the feet. And they can't differentiate or detach themselves from that narrative because that's what they had coming in. When Rendon's been charging her down, landing on the feet, now she's got a front headlock position after charging her down, looking for a guillotine. She may pull guard here. It's not about the fight itself. I don't give a fuck about either one of these girls winning or losing. It's just the the quality of the commentary is horrible. Almost to the point they're detached from reality of what's going on. Like, I don't remember Zelezniakova fucking landing a damn thing yet. Like, and you guys have to realize, like, my anger from this comes from the fact that this happens on big fights. This happens in massive fights that then the entire audience left hand lands for Zelezniakova. That's like her first shot landed in 20 minutes. The This happens in big fights. Rendon, big right hand there. And they don't even, they didn't even mention it. They didn't even mention it. The commentary is horrible. And they're all doing it too. They were acting like Rendon needed some desperation knees at the end of round two to get the round. Which she's clearly winning. 
Left hand for Zelezniakova. Now, now Zelezniakova is working the body landing. Right hand from Rendon misses. Rendon's now chasing her down again. Looking for a takedown. Rendon's about to look for a good a takedown here. Let's see if she grabs the fence again. If she grabs the fence again, I'm going to lose my shit. She's going to get her down here. She gets her down to a knee. She gets back to her feet. She's controlling her in the clinch here. Knee to the body by Rendon, but nothing powerful. Little dirty boxing shots from Zelezniakova. Watch her grab the fence again here. Watch her grab the fence again here. I got a feeling she's getting ready to grab another fence grab. Because she's going to take her the opposite direction. Oh, she drags her down to a knee. Gets back up. Drag her the other direction now. Near to the body here. This fight's horrible. Bite her. But don't leave teeth marks. Watch her grab the fence again. She's about to get tripped down. Nope. But outclassing is a horrible term to use to, to represent any part of this fight. I get your point on that one. But my point is she's clearly winning. This round was horrible. This round was horrible. All right, Rendon, they break. 30 seconds left. Combinations lands from Rendon. Some clinch. Throwing spinning back fist, lands the left hand, eats the right hand from Rundon. Spinning back fist from Rundon. She keeps throwing spinning back fist. She's just throwing, she's just spinning. She's just spinning nonstop. What a clown. She lost every single round. Zelezniakova lost every single round. If she gets this fight, I'm going to go berserk. You can make a case for the third round, though. That's crazy. I think Rendon won all three rounds. There's no way Rendon doesn't get the decision, right? I guess you could give uh, Zelezniakova round one and three, but no fucking way. I'm going to get infuriated if they rob her for real. There's no way they should. But who knows? Yeah, round three was a, was a wash, so that's why I give it to Rendon for control time. It's about to be a split decision. 29-28. They robbed her. They robbed her. 
They ro- that's a robbery. They robbed her. That's wild. They robbed her. That's a robbery. They're talking about how she outstruck her. She did not outstrike her. That that's crazy. That's a that's a brutal robbery. That's a robbery. That's a robbery. Dude, she outstruck her literally in every single round. I don't care what the stats say. That was a robbery. Even the Russian was shocked that she got the win. I'm convinced the commentary affects affects scorecards now. I'm convinced. At this point, I'm convinced of that. I'm about, I'm gonna go piss real quick before this next fight. All right, I'm back, boys. Change it to the next fight. Aaron's versus Win. Yeah, that that was a horrible. That was horrible scorecards, and uh, I can't even believe. Hey, buddy, I can't even believe that everyone's gonna back that shit up. And and I get it. It's not a fight that anybody cares about. 
but it pisses me off. Hey, buddy. You make sure to do it. I told you guys, my dog misses me when I go. Go get a toy and come back. I missed you, too. I missed you, too. You're going to have to start coming in here and laying down while I, while I stream. Go get a toy. Come back. All right. Go get a toy. Oh, shit. They're already announcing the next fight. All right. One sixteen time. Okay, buddy, you come back. Go lay down. Go lay down. Okay, go lay down. Come on, don't drool on me now. Don't drool on me. I gotta get my my stuff ready. Come on, sit. Good boy. Hi. All right, here we go. What do you got? Hey, come here. Call him. All right. Let's go. First round. I think he might have something. If you're listening to this. Good leg kick by Wynn. Wynn with a nice teep kick to the body. Good leg kick by Aaron's. I think commentary affected a good leg kick again by Wynn. Let's see. Leg kick again from Wynn misses this time. Body kick from Aaron's, but Wynn takes him down, pushes him to the ground. Big right hand from Wynn on the ground here. Watch out for them up kicks. Imagine, ooh, heel up kick. Okay, lets him up. Wynn's lets him up. Wynn's clearly the better striker. Dude, it was a robbery, dude. The commentary with team was horrible. Rendo won every single round. Won every single round. Good right hand from Aaron's to the body. Big right hand upstairs from Aaron's. Aaron's is gritty. Nice right hand from Aaron. Aaron's is starting to pick it up. Now he's landing upstairs. Dude, Aaron's looking like he's going to go for a finish here. This is nuts. Good leg kick from Aaron's. Aaron's starting to beat the fuck out of him right now. Yeah, the, the commentary was horrible. Left hand from Wynn. Dude, Aaron's, when he was aggressive, was landing right to the body right upstairs, too. Jab to the body from Aaron's. Well, big right hand from Aaron's just misses. Wynn gets out of the way. Ooh, Aaron's misses with that right hand, too. Leg kick from Aaron's now. Aaron's starting to pick it up. Dude, Aaron's is gritty as fuck. Dude, Aaron's, Aaron's might outgrit this right here. He might outgrit this man. Aaron's is taking the round back. Has definitely taken the round back. It looked like early he was going to get outmatched, man. Now he's landing heavy leg kicks. Nice jab from Wynn. Ooh, right hand from Aaron's just barely misses. Uppercut from Aaron. Nice jab from Wynn. Dude, Aaron's is sma was smashing those leg kicks so far. Smashes another one right now. Wynn switch stance for a second. Nice teep kick from Wynn. Wynn pressing forward. Spinning back fist from Aaron's. Nice left hand from Aaron's, or from Wynn. Nice leg kick from Aaron's. Nice leg kick from Wynn this time. They're both just trading leg kicks now. Wynn switching stances now because he's worried about that leg kick. Let's go, Stevie. Let's get it, Stevie. 
It wins, switches stances again, switches back. Let's see if Aaron throws another. Oh, nice right hand to the body by Aaron's. Big uppercut, left hand from Aaron, stumbles him. Oh, knee to the body from Aaron's. Oh, Aaron's busting him up. Steven Wynn getting busted up, man. Dude, Aaron's is beating the fuck out of him right now. Leg kick from Aaron's. Dude, Aaron's is beating him up, man. Wynn doesn't know what to do. Wynn's done, man. He's going to lose his fight unless Aaron's gasses. He's chopping his legs now. It, it already looks to me like Wynn's like waiting for his opportunity to get out of there, man. He's like, fuck, what did I get myself into here? Another good leg kick from Aaron's. Well, let's see if Aaron slows down here. Mark Smith talking. Ooh, jumping knee from Aaron's. Both throw leg kicks simultaneously. 20 seconds left. Ooh, step in knee from Wynn misses. 10 seconds. There's the end of the round. Aaron's clearly won. Aaron's clearly won the first round. Um, It's a good fight. Aaron's clearly takes the first round. The uppercut was landing at will. Left hook, left hook hurt him. I feel like Said Saoud's always having losing fighters. He's screaming at him. Nice right hand from Aaron's. Yeah, I feel like Wynn's going to get brutally chinned. I'm going to be honest. It just feels like it's a matter of time at this point. He's going to be on the end of a really big power shot and just get put out brutally, I feel like. Ooh, nice jab from Wynn. Busted his nose up. Another jab from Wynn. That kind of got Aaron's attention. Can that sway the momentum? Good jab from Wynn again. Snapping his head back a little bit there. Wins landing that jab. That's busting him up. You can tell this is going to be a good fight. Ooh, nice right hand by Aaron's, but it seemed like Wynn just ate it. What a weird way to spell win, I guess. I don't know. Ooh, nice right hand, then left hook right afterwards from Wynn. Wynn's starting to come back. The momentum's starting to shift towards Wynn. Right hand to the body from Aaron's. Did Igor already get caught for real? What if he didn't realize it? What if somehow he didn't realize it? I don't know how that's possible, but... Why didn't they cut Priscilla Cachoeira then? Wynn's actually starting to win a little bit here. Leg kick from Wynn. Aaron's finally goes... Ooh, nice one-two from Wynn. Per Kevin Ioli. Ooh, axe kick for Aaron's lands. Pushes him backwards, but it kind of lands at the chest. Wynn feints a spin. Who's defending Igor? Sidekick to the body from Wynn. Wynn's winning this round right now. I know that sounds crazy, but he is. Nice jabs from Wynn. Right hand from Aaron's. 
Oh, nice left hand from Wynn. That's what you get for biting, motherfuckers. They should have cut Chandler, too. Dude was fish hooking, blowing his nose in people's mouths, grabbing the glove. Jab to the body from Aaron's. Oh, nice right hand from Aaron's. This close round. Nice jab. Wynn's jab is landing at will. Yeah, Aaron's is definitely fading a little bit here. And he stopped throwing the leg kicks. That's only like his second leg kick. Wins is just landing the jab at will. Jab to the body from Aaron's. Or for win. Right hand misses for Aaron's. Goes right by the head. That's the way they spell from Vietnam. That's fair enough. Good leg kick from Aaron's. Switch stances. His ankle hurts. Wins ankle hurts. Eats another leg kick too. You can see Wynn lifting up his leg because he's worried about that leg kick now. Paints a leg kick, gets a reaction. He gets him to switch stances there. Oh, they stop it. Get to break it for a split second. Leg kick from when? Dude, the commentary team is horrible here. This is a razor close round. And they're acting like Aaron's is outclassing him too. I say Aaron's is winning this round, but it's close. Very close round. The leg kicks of Aaron's over the last minute is what is one of them that stole him back this round so far. But this is anyone's round still, depending on this last 30 seconds. Ooh, right hand went lands for win. I thought that might have stung him a little bit. I thought that might have stung him a little bit. They're just slinging a lot of missing here. Right hand from Aaron's Lance. Oh, big right hand from Aaron's Lance. Ten seconds to go. He's swarming up against the fence. Aaron's going after him. Ten seconds. He's hurt. Needed the body. Right hand from Wins. Wins seems good. Oh, big elbow from Aaron's. What the fuck? They fucked up with the clock there. Damn. These guys are ruining my day. Did anybody hear that? Did anybody hear that? Who said that? Who said that? Did anybody hear that? These guys are ruining my day. Did anybody hear that? That was Said Saeed. I think he's talking about his dude losing. I think that was Say Saeed. These guys are fucking ruining my day. I'm going to say that and try to slip that in the post fight somehow. Right hand. These guys are fucking ruining my day. Good leg kick from Aaron's. For that, probably that low shot. Wynn's going to lose this fight. Wynn needs to finish for sure. These guys are fucking ruining my day. Nice leg kick from Aaron's. Aaron's is just slamming the leg kick. Left hand from Wynn. Both guys are busted the fuck up. Now they're holding hands. Yeah, 
Yeah, that leg's busted up. Ooh, Aaron's get dropped. Did Aaron's just get dropped? Oh, wins ground and pound elbows. Hurt him. Now he's looking for a guillotine here. Don't fuck it up. Win Win must have hurt him there. Looking for a guillotine here. He gets out of it. Win's going after him. Aaron's is hurt, I think. I don't know. He looks fine now. He's moving. He's giving him time to recover, though, if he was hurt. Oh, Win lands a left hand. Oh, he stumbles on that leg, and now Aaron sees it. Throws a leg kick to the back leg. Oh, my God. The calf is filthy. He can't he can't fight out of the other stance. Yeah, Aaron's is good. I think he slipped. Yeah, I wasn't sure what happened, but he looked hurt once he was on the ground. When he was eating his elbows, he wasn't moving good. But maybe he was just trying to scramble up. Oh, Win gets hurt with a right hand or left hand. Aaron's looks for a takedown when he has him rocked. Takes him down easily, but Wynn looks to get back up. I don't know why he's fucking shooting takedowns. Had him hurt badly on the feet. Dude, the leg is fucking battered. I want to see that, that sequence where Aaron's went down. What the fuck's Aaron's running for now? Aaron's is running away. Is Aaron's hurt or is he fatigued? Dude, if Wynn some comes out back and win this, that'll be crazy. Wynn's just marching down and down right now. Throwing shots, but he has no pressure because that leg, dude. That leg's fucking battered. Imagine he threw a head kick with that leg. Both guys are just busted up. Good jabs from Aaron's. Good left hand from Wynn. Ooh, both exchanged big right hands. Leg kick misses from Aaron's. Nice uppercut from Aaron's. Dude, Wynn is a savage, though. He's battered, and he's just marching forward right now. Oh, Wynn with a right hand, lands. Dude, Wynn's going for it. And I think he's the fresher fighter. Aaron's is kind of stalling out here. He knows he got the first two rounds. He's stalling out a little bit, and he's winning this round, too. You could tell Aaron's is definitely trying to just survive. Look, dude, Aaron's is running for... He's pulling the Gustafson versus DC. Who remembers Gustafson versus DC? Wins. If Wins had that leg there, man. Good leg kick from Wins. Good jab from Wins. Ooh, Wins eats a leg kick. Dude, Win is going after him. I love it, even though he's going to lose anyway. If he doesn't get a finish. Big right hand from Win Lance. Ooh, big uppercut from uh, Aaron's. Dude, Aaron's doesn't look that bad in terms of gas tank, but he's running nonstop. I think he just knows he has to win. He doesn't want to take any more damage. He's already taken a lot. They're both bleeding nasty. Jab from Aaron's. Aaron's just lateral movement now. He said, fuck this, I'm out of here. Dude, this is actually getting annoying, kind of. Like, Wynn's trying to win here, and Aaron's is just... Running side to side right now. Nice left hand by Aaron's. Come on, Win. Track him down. Big exchange in the pocket. Oh. Yeah, Aaron's is just, I don't want to get finished. Nice jab from Aaron's. Oh, Aaron's, here's that 10 seconds. He's just going to keep moving. Oh, they do trade. Fucking punch him in the face, man. He's celebrating and running for the last. Dude, that shit was annoying, actually. 30-27, Aaron's. Miles Johns, Cody Gibson up next. Is anybody watching right now who's not subscribed? 
I'm about to hit 19,000 subscribers if you guys could go subscribe. If you guys could go subscribe, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm, a, I'm literally about to hit it as we speak. So I would greatly appreciate it. I got one dude on my mind. It was annoying, dude. My video was going to hit 100K, but it's dying down because of the fights. Hopefully it picks back up after the fights, though. Should be 30, 30, 27. Yep. It was definitely close, but Aaron's got it. I mean, no, it wasn't even. I mean, it was competitive. It wasn't close, though. Dude, it reminded me of Gustafs in D.C. Does anybody remember Gustafs in D.C.? Growing the channel faster this year, dude. This this last week, I've gained over a thousand subs alone. So, yeah, the last week I've gained like fifteen hundred subs in the last seven days alone. The fuck is this mute? Dude literally grabbed his cock and balls and bit him. I can't believe that. Damn. I just realized my topology's fucked. My topology's fucked. When Gary runs, you cream. When this guy dominates and takes the last minute off, you complain. That's two totally different scenarios. That's two totally different scenarios. When you're dominating a fight and you're running for your life just because you know you won versus a close competitive fight strategically against a guy who has filthy knockout power. Joey, how old is your dog? My dog's almost three years old. I got him at eight weeks old. I got him as a pup. All right, we got Johns versus Gibson. All right, I fixed the graphic. Oh, that's a beauty. What a weird night of fight so far. We have Usman and Parkin stinking up the place. Then we have a bite. Then we have a robbery. And then we have a pretty much just regular run-of-the-mill fight. All right, who's walking out now? Cody Gibson. I think Cody Gibson wins. Unless he just gets ragdolled and out-wrestled the entire time, I think he wins. Um, I 
I wouldn't say it was a run of the mill fight. Yeah, it was a good fight. I wouldn't say amazing war, but it was a really good solid fight. I shouldn't have said run of the mill. Do, 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 do. So, just subscribe. Hope you hit 19K. I did, bro. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. Um, I want. I'd love to hit 20K by April 1st. I want to hit it by 300, but April 1st is the three-year anniversary since I started the channel. So that'd be wild. That'd be fucking wild. I got John the drug cheat in this one. Okay. I didn't think they... I saw an article saying they didn't overturn it. But on top of it says it was overturned. Miles John... I just think he's not scrappy enough, man. I just don't think he's scrappy enough. But we'll see. Yeah, I see Kevin Eilie posted he's been cut. That's wild, dude. What a fucking idiot. Imagine being that stupid. Imagine being that stupid to bite a dude while you're grabbing his cock. You're grabbing his cock and biting him simultaneously. Hope Sean Strickland wasn't watching that. He probably got aroused. All right, let me see where this fight's at. John's still not even in the cage yet. I've been trying to do my job of keeping timestamps. I'm not talking about Aaron's. I was talking about Gary. Gary has good distance management and evasion. People often say Izzy runs too when Izzy rarely actually runs. Yeah. I just don't like actively stalling. Like, there's a big difference between actively stalling and it's part of the game plan because of 29, 28 Aaron's. I don't get it. Um, um, all right, Miles John, Cody Gibson. Five inches. All right, here we go. 144. We'll say 145. Time. Hopefully, I got the right graphic up. I do. Miles Chapo Johns. Herb will be back for two bouts. Oh, great. Including the co-main. Here we go. All right, let's see what happens. 
I think Giles is, John is going to try to grapple nonstop, basically. I think Gibson's too scrappy and has good volume. Good leg kick from Johns. Johns looks like a smaller version of Yo Romero the way he's built. I I thought they said it wasn't overturned. I thought they didn't overturn it. I found an article that said they didn't overturn it. Uppercut by Gibson. So. Gibson pressure and leg kick, inside leg kick from Gibson. Right hand to the body from Gibson or from Johns. Gibson pressuring. Front kick from Gibson. Oh, left hand from Gibson. Oh, Gibson shoots at single leg, but lets it go. Oh, nice left hand by Johns. Kind of clipped him as he came in. Gibson's swinging a lot of air. Clinch work. Gibson's in the clinch. Got him pressed up against the fence. John's pushing on the hips. Ooh, front headlock position. Knees from Cody Gibson. Knee him again. He doesn't have his hands down. You should have need him right there. Missed opportunity to knee him. Ooh, what the fuck happened there? Did they get headbutted? What happened? Cody Gibson just Gibson ended up just on the ground randomly. They kind of charged into each other, and Gibson just ended up on his back. <laughs> Looks like John's just going to lay here. Gibson gets his feet on the hips. Good elbow to the head, side of the head from Gibson. Gibson throwing shots from the bottom. But still, you got to get up here. Gibson's got a bu bunch of submission wins. But I don't know how many of them off his back. Or no, is that Hollyball I'm thinking of? Hollyball. Yeah, Johns hasn't thrown anything yet. Gibson's got a closed guard here. Now he goes to rubber guard. Johns hasn't done anything yet. Ooh, Gibson looking to roll for an armbar here. He's trying to scramble for an armbar here, but I don't think he's going to get it. Johns, Johns looking to posture up here to land elbows. Lands one elbow here. It's the first elbow he landed the whole time. Gibson looking to get to a hit. 55 seconds left. Gets to a hit. Gives up his back. Looks to get up. Gets up. Miles John's got a body lock. It's a close round here. Oh, Miles John's ragdolls him back to the ground. Gibson looking for a guillotine. Nope, he's looking just to defend here. Gibson's constantly throwing shots, but he's fishing for that guillotine here. He's throwing some shots. He's looking to fish for that. Oh, good knee by Gibson. John's finally throwing some right hands here up against the fence. It's close round. A break, big right hand thrown by Gibson. Gibson gets dropped with a jab as he rushes in. That's going to lose him the round for sure. Idiot. What an idiot. Fell over two times. That's John's round.
Yeah, John's got that 10-9. Right, here we go, second round. Waiting for Herb to fuck this up somehow. Gibson fucked that whole round for himself. Dude fell down the first time, got control for two minutes, then gets dropped at the end with a jab because of a sloppy Russian. Gibson looks like he's fucking drunk almost. Now he's shooting on a single, eating uppercuts. Gets Johns down with a single leg, but Johns is going to explode right back up. He explodes up, but he gets up back position. Johns is just too strong and athletic, man. It's fucking stupid for Gibson to just try to grapple with him nonstop. Don't knee him in the head. Knee him to the thigh. We'll see if Johns gets tired here. Clinch back control from uh, Gibson here. Grab the fence, it looked like. Circles out. Leg kick from Gibson. Johns is looking tired, which I don't trust his stamina at all. Ooh, nice uppercut by Johns. And Gibson's bleeding. Dude, Gibson looks fucking drunk, man. He looks drunk. Single leg. And it's probably from those right hands where he's diving in on single legs. Gets a takedown. Got a single leg, but watch, dude. Johns is so strong and athletic, man. He's going to pop right back up, but he's getting tired, so we'll see. Going to take his back. Gets the back. He gets the back. He's got both hooks in now. Oh, got the body triangle. But it's in kind of an awkward position here. John's made a mistake there. He tried too hard to just scramble back up with no respect for the grappling of Gibson. Now Gibson's got to do some damage here to get this round back. Oh, nope. He's got it under the armpit. Gibson looking for rear naked here. Johns might be able to turn into him. They're in a weird position. Johns might end up on top here. Nope. He re cements the back control. Oh, he's going to turn into him. He's going to turn into him. Johns, John's going to end up on top. Yep. He's an idiot. He's still got the body triangle when he's on the bottom here. Horrible fire IQ by Gibson, man. He's just trying to fight for a rear naked choke that wasn't there instead of now he's in the crucifix position. Giles, Johns is beating him up in the crucifix position. Johns looking for a set up a guillotine here. Good ground and pound from Johns, dude. I'm surprised Johns has it. Now, Johns has his back. They get back to the feet, though. I'm curious how, how gassed Johns is going to be now. I'm curious. Gibson looking to shuck him off here. But Johns is holding on to him. They're in the clinch. Big uppercut by Johns. John, Gibson's going to need to finish after this. Missed the first two fights. Happy to have you. Good job by Gibson. By Gibson. John's going after him, man. Gibson's horrible. Gibson keeps looking to clinch. How does Gibson look so bad? Flying knee. About to get taken down, though. Gibson throws the sloppiest flying knee. 
And now Gibson's in on a takedown here. Gonna get taken down. Easy takedown from Gibson. From Johns, I mean. Yeah, Johns clearly won this round. Did way more damage. Gibson looks like he's drunk out there. Dude looks like an alcoholic. And he... Dude, it's night and day the way Gibson looked against Brad Katona versus the way he looked against Miles John here. That's crazy. Dude's a literal bomb. Night and day. So... Congratulations on the 100k video. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. <sighs> what the fuck is Gibson's game plan? I, I don't know. I guess shoot on takedowns and then get out grappled. That's what it seems like to me. Does it not seem like Gibson's game plan is to shoot in on takedowns and get out, out, out grappled himself? Get, if anyone could pull off a last second finish, it'd be Gibson though. He's a maniac. He might be able to find a flying knee or some shit. But my guess is he'll probably get out grappled. Johns is fucking him up with the right hand too. Nice left hand from Johns. Dude, Gibson looks so bad. Johns looking for a takedown. Gets in on the fence here. Uh, this round's going to be horrible. It's just going to be clinch work, isn't it? John's just got him pressed up against the fence. It looks like Gibson's trying to hunt for like a ninja choke or something, but he's never going to find it here. Especially John's has no neck. Yeah, Gibson's done. All right, he sprawls out. Now they separate. Dude, I feel like you could throw an uppercut or a step in knee. Johns is always like crouching down. Chandler style. Oh, big right hand from Johns just misses. Gibson's pressuring hard. Nice jab from Gibson. Nice jab from Gibson's. Johns look tired now, but Gibson's stuff's a takedown there. Right hand from Johns. They're about to head clash soon. Get a head clash. Johns looking for a single leg again. Run that single. Run that single. That's what you hear Johns Corner saying right now. Gibson's trying to fend off the takedown here, but nothing's happening. Someone just rip ass on the mic right now. I just heard that. These guys are ruining my fucking night. Now, this isn't a bad fight. It's just super sloppy. I don't know how Gibson isn't throwing any knees. Johns keeps ducking down. 
don't know how Johns isn't throwing these two because Gibson's doing the same shit. Yeah, Gibson's just a punching bag. We should have known. I'm done. Sanko just said what I said earlier about Yo Romero. Finally throws a knee but misses from Gibson. Oh, they're going to head clash at some point. Oh, big right hand from Johns. Johns is exhausted. Gibson looks drunk, though. He misses every shot. No accuracy. Yeah, this fight was sloppy as hell. Herb's complaining immediately. What's going on with Herb lately? What is going on with Herb lately? That's crazy. Why is Herb acting like that lately? Like, it wasn't the best fight there, but come on now. They just got there. Dude, these refs, I swear to God, are on a power trip. John looking to finish a takedown so he can stall out the rest of the round. That's for sure. He's going to get this takedown. Gets him down. Dude, I didn't trust John's stamina at all. That's why I picked against him. Dude's about to stick a finger up his ass right there. Oh, Gibson gets back to his feet. At this point, you might as well headbutt him. Dude. Dude, they, this was a war, but they were sloppy as hell. Big uppercut from Gibson. Dude, everything Gibson throws just misses. Even though John's doesn't barely move his head at all. What an embarrassing performance. These guys just ruined my fucking night. So. So. So, who'd you have taken this one? I picked uh, Gibson. So I should have picked Johns, though, obviously. I didn't think Johns' cardio would keep... Dude, Gibson looked nothing like that against Brad Katona. That's 37 Johns for sure. Ricardo Hamos is next. So. So, um, dude, Arosa looks like McLovin, doesn't he? So, um, 
Ja. Ähm. Ricardo Hamos. How did Usman lose aside from the decision? By not fighting. Who do I have one in this one? I took Hamos, I think. Yeah, I took Hamos by KO. Uh, picks are horrible tonight. I just realized how bad my picks are. So annoying. I got one pick right so far. You can't park in the staff parking lot because you're not staff. What What is that about? I feel like Julian will get KO'd in the first round. Yeah, I couldn't pick him coming off two KOs. Yep, I unsubbed. You unsubbed. What is that even about? Oh, because of my picks? Dude, I thought I had good picks this week. What the fuck? Can you verify the picks? <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Ask me to verify them later, dude. I don't want to verify them right now. I'm, I only got one right so far. So if you got that for me, then yeah, I'm right. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember now. I forgot that quick what I said. Par Parkin is different battle back from reverse. like that. He's a future top five challenge. Tom for the undisputed England showdown battle of ages. <laughs> Patty, I'm glad I can pick up the sarcasm. Remind me to confirm them later, bro. Or actually, Vince, are you in the tabology or no? If you're not in tabology, I can just send you a screenshot of my tabology. I can just send you a screenshot of my tabology. Message me on Discord real quick and I'll message you. Embarrassing me like that, bro. There, I send it to you, bro. I send it to you. I'm pissed right now. Yeah, I send it to you on the Discord. I just send it to you in the Discord. But for future, I don't ever remind, mind confirming, but in case I forget, you can always check the topology. As soon as the event starts, it shows my picks. I just hide them before the point, before I release my video and everything. So. Two. I couldn't pick a Rosa coming off two brutal KOs. What's first fight on the main card? Juicy J. Juicy J in the building. I'm done. Williams Taff on the main card. It's not only main card, it's co-main. My picks are horrible tonight, Andy. Thanks for reminding me, you pussy. 
Try me. You want to try me, bud? You want to try me? You want to try me? You want to fucking try me, buddy? I picked Hamos by first round KO, but we'll see. Arosa's just been getting KO'd and KO'd and slowing down, and there we go. I feel like this is the end of Arosa's career here. And Julian Arosa literally looks like McLovin. Good leg kick by Hamos. Good job by Hamos. Yeah, it came down between McLovin and Muhammad, but I decided to go with McLovin. Why the fuck would it come down to McLovin and Muhammad? Ooh, big one-two by Hamos. Hamos rushing in, gets clipped with a right hand himself. Ooh, right hand from Hamos. Hurt him bad. He's going after him. Arosa clinching up. Dude, Arosa's going to get chinned again. He's clinching up. Arosa's trying to survive here. Julian Arosa looking for a takedown. Coming off two of us to pick. I'm not surprised. That's facts, bro. Hamos now going to get a takedown here. But Julian Arosa was looking to set up a guillotine there. Went on takedown. But Hamos got him down. Hamos landed a good ground and pound here. Dude, Arosa's still hurt. You can see it in his eyes right now. He's like... I almost better just let him up right now. Arosa's done, man. I think he's done. He's gotten KO'd so many times. Hamo's trying to get in the half guard. Now he's trying to impregnate him there. He was hips in on full guard. Dude's impregnating him. I'm done. Big elbow from Hamos. Hamos should have just took him down and got up. Elbow from Hamos. Dude was tagging him on the feet. Dude was tagging him on the feet. Oh, big elbow misses for Hamos. Okay, pushes him off of him. Now he's back to his feet. Oh, spinning elbow from Hamos lands. Hamos gets jumps into a guillotine here. Let's see if Hamos... Oh, Arosa's got a body triangle with a guillotine here, but I don't think it's in there. Hamos is cut open. That's going to help him slip out of this guillotine. He taps. This dumb motherfucker shot right into a guillotine. Arosa pulls it off. Dude, how often is Hamos going to just shoot in and grapple when he's winning the striking? Dumb motherfucker. He got guillotine in his last fight. Yep. Happened again. Dude, Arosa just saved his career. Dude shot when he's winning on the feet. What a dumb fuck. Why'd you shoot it on a sloppy takedown? And he lets him readjust too. Dude had him finished on the feet. Hamos needs to be cut, bro. What a dumb fuck. Arosa was about to get finished, too. That's crazy. Hamos might have the lowest fight IQ ever. What did Hamos get cut by? Hamos is a fucking idiot. A straight up dumbass. I applaud him for his bravery, run into the arms of a grown man, yep.
He fucked up. Dude. Dude rolled right into the guillotine tail. Fight IQ is really dumb, yeah. Juicy J gets it done. I, I'm happy for Juicy J, though. I'm happy for Juicy J, though. But Hamos has no fight IQ. Hollabo. Hollabo. Yeah, I'm closing down the channel after these picks. Judo's better for individual skills than game planning. Okay. MA without teams corners would be a vastly different sport. That's facts. That's true. That's facts. Dude, Hamos did this now multiple times, dude. What a fucking idiot. What a dumbass. Back your bags up, Joe. The channel's done. That's facts. I'm happy for Julian Arosa, though. <sighs> Kurt Hollibo. Hollibo, 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 Hollibo. I've been saying Hulaba. I heard sport, spots book, sports book at the Kentucky State Fair hiring. Yeah. I might need to find it. I'm pissed, dude. Two bad weeks of bad picks. It's, this is some of my worst picks the last two weeks ever on the channel. I'm just going to start fucking flipping a coin and saying, fuck it. Hullaball. 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 I'm going to try to remember for the post fight. At elite level, you need coaches. That's true. That's facts. Your picks are looking decent, dude. My picks are literally straight up garbage. Your pick, your picks are looking good. You got four picks, dude. Yeah, four. I got fucking one though. So, but I got a robbery loss, so I should be two and two right now. I'm done.
Fucking wild. You completely forgot about this card, sure, you're 0-0. We're not even to the main card yet. Damn. Joe using Strickland and Gold. Yeah, I would have had better picks, but I'm getting fucked because of my political beliefs, apparently. At this point, I'm waiting to get... Oh, my God. I'd be pissed if I got every fight wrong one week. I would literally close my channel. Dude's 20 years old and bitter, dude. What a dumb fuck. I want to know who said this. these guys are ruining my nights. These guys are ruining my fucking day. To be fair, these Apex cards lately have been so shit it makes it hard to pick for me. I know. I'm about to just not even start fucking watching tape and just make a pick. Kurt Holliball making me regret my pick already. We'll see what happens. This boxing is sharp and powerful. He's hungry. I hope he doesn't end up like the one dude. It was 1.30 already. I missed my car for the first time in years. I can't be bothered. Yeah. It's shit, man. Me when I'm a shit coach and all I do is yell when Jeff Neal fights. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. All right. Oh, man. I'm so annoyed about this. These shit picks tonight. That's actually a night ruiner. 224. 225. I'm one in five right now, boys. I took Hollow Ball by second round KO. Yeah, Alright, let's see. Red. Ooh. Okay, I did change my graphic. I got scared for a second there. Trey Ogden's a betting favorite here. Oh, God. Hullabo. Trey Ogden's not good, dude. If he fucking wins, I'm going to be heated. Yeah, I was never confident. I don't think I was really confident on any of these picks. Good leg kick by Hullabo. Like, this was a pick em card in general. It could go either way. But I'll look back on him in a second. I thought Miles Johns would gas, which he kind of did, but. Ooh, right hand to the body by Hollabo. Good leg kick by Hollabo.
Ooh, Hollowell gets taken down after he's swarming and Ogden gets a takedown. But Kurt's got decent grappling. Right hand from Ogden. I think every pick right now could have went either way. I think the most confident I was when Hamos because Orosa got chin in his last two fights. Let's see if Hollowell scrambles back up. Elbows from the bottom. Hollowbow throwing elbows from bottom. See if Hollowbow can work back up. Did uh, Ogden have a shoulder surgery or something? Maybe in the past. It looks like he's got scarring around his shoulder. Ogden's trying to move into half guard here. Hollowbow. Hollowbow is being controlled here. Chest, chest. Chest to chest. He's got that he's got that leg triangled. Thank God I got one pick already. A lot of guys love to hang out in top half. Dude, Hollabo has shown no ability to get up so far, and we're two minutes in. And Ogden's ground and pounding here with little baby ground and pound shots, but fair enough. He's doing something. What the fuck is he setting up here? Pull his pants off him. <laughs> Do something, Hollabo. Hollabo needs to try to get up here. Uh, Ogden's just controlling him bad. My ass is starting to hurt from sitting in this chair. I'm about to end the stream. Fuck this fight card. Dude's just got a triangle on the left leg of Trey Ogden. At this point, oil check him or something. Trey Ogden just laying on top of him and uh, and fucking Holobo. It's just triangle the leg and just lay there the entire time. I'm sickened right now. I'm just gonna fall back in my chair. My ass is actually starting to hurt earlier tonight. Paul's from sitting here. My tailbone's starting to hurt from sitting here for so long. It usually can handle much more punishment than just a couple hours. Dude, Hullabo has not even tried to get up. What the fuck, man? I thought he had good jujitsu. Dude just chilled in half guard this entire fucking time. Hullabo's a bomb, man. That whole round really irked the fuck out of me. That's wild. I'm starting to get heated with this card.
Damn. I'm being su I'm being I'm suffering through this fight right now. <laughs> Hullabo better go after him on the feet here. If he gets taken down again in the first minute, I'm gonna lose my mind. He's gonna get taken down early, isn't he? He's standing straight up. Hullabo's standing straight up. Dude, Ogden just jabbed him. Leg kick from Ogden. You better throw a fucking uppercut or faint a knee or something. They're just leg kicking each other now. Head kick lands from Ogden. Now Hullaball's moving forward and missing. What an ugly tattoo on his back, too. Left hand lands for Ogden. Ooh, Hullaball going after him. Lands some body shots. Have him up against the fence here. Leg kick from Hullaball. Don't get too aggressive and get taken down. Held there. Inside leg kick from Ogden. Inside leg kick from Ogden. Right hand to the body by Hullaball. Left hand from Ogden. Leg kick from Hullaball. Ooh, right hand from Hullaball. I tagged him on the chin, that right hand. Body kick from Ogden. You want to see biting allowed? <laughs> yeah. Especially if it's from the north-south. <laughs> Left hand from Ogden. Oh, no. Ogden's going to get a takedown here. He shoots. Oh, it's tough, but needed the body from Ogden. Good leg kick from Hullaball. Hullaball. Right hand to the body. Yeah, just keep punching the body. Oh, big right hand from Hullaball. Oh, he eats a left. Come on, Hullaball. I need you. I need to get some picks right on this fucking card. Oh, left hand, Lancer Hullabo. I thought he dropped him for a second, but it was really just Ogden dropping for a takedown and a clinch, and he clinches up with him. Hullabo, don't you get taken down here. Don't you get taken down here, you pussy. Oh, he gets taken down with ease. Oh, my God. If he triangles this leg again. If he triangles this fucking leg again. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you do it. He has no ability to get up at all. At some point, just lock up his arms and pray for a stand-up. If this is what you're going to do, just lay here. Does he not know how to try to get to a hip? Try to put the feet on the hips? Try to create space at all? Try to do any scramble? Get to the fence? Get your back to the fence and try to get up? Does he not train anything? He's trying to go to the leg again. And he's got his toes in the fence now. Look at the way he's got his legs sticking up. Look at his look at the leg position from Hullabo. What are we doing here? Just punch him in the back of the head or bite him. Please bite him. Shoulder strikes from Ogden. Shout out Conor McGregor. Dude just triangle the leg. I'm at, this is the most annoyed I've been in a long, long time. Oh, he gets to a hip. He's eating ground and pound. He got the Dagestani handcuff. Watch the back of the head. He's got his arm trapped. Ogden's controlling the wrist, reaching around the back and controlling the wrist here. Dude, I swear the corners and the commentary affect the fight. Fucking bite him. Stick your toe in his ass. Do something, Hullabo. Fucking Hullabo. Just smash him at right hands. Ogden's just manhandling this dude. Ogden is just manhandling this dude. Do something. Oh, big right hand by Ogden. He's got the Dagestani handcuff. He's just beating the fuck out of him right now. It's not really a finishing sequence, but it could get there. But 20 seconds left, probably not. I thought he went out for a second there. All right, he gets the wrist back now. Oh. 
This card sucks ass. Stick your toe in his ass. Third round. Kurt Holobo needs to get a knockout. Excuse me. Holobo pressuring him, but he's going to get taken down again in a second. Throwing big shots, landing right hands. That wasn't beautiful, Sanko. She's like, beautiful time. Take No, Hullabaugh has no takedown defense. He literally just falls over. If you run into him, he just falls over. Close guard immediately. I hate this fucking fight. I hate this fight. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, he just falls over. Fuck you, Colby Bummington. I mean, is this not the most disgraceful fight ever? Hullaball needs to be cut, man. He won the Ultimate Fighter. I don't fucking know. Come on, guys. Let's keep working. This is absolute shit. Dude said he wants me to rip ass on stream. Yeah, that's about as good as this fight is me ripping ass on stream. I'm actually annoyed right now. Can we just stop the fight?
Dude, and they're like, Ogden is so good. I'm actually like incredibly annoyed right now. He can't get up, dude. Just half guard, half guard, half guard. Now he's full mounted. Dude, Ogden's full mounted, not doing anything. He's just locking him down. Herb's, Herb's warning him. Hurry up. Hollowball's talking shit to him now. What was he talking to? I think Hollowball's complaining all you're doing is holding me down. Hollowball, you're too busy talking instead of actually trying to fight. And Ogden's not even posturing up here. That's the pussiest fight I've ever seen in my entire life. Horrible pick. After a horrible pick. After a horrible pick. Damn. 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 I'm a heated right now. That was some horse shit. I'm actually quite literally annoyed with that fight. Is anyone else annoyed with that fight? Does any, does everyone else have bad picks today, Vincent? Let me know. Does everyone else have bad picks today or no? I switched last minute and I hate my life. Yeah, can we play Taps? I'm just so disturbed right now. Just tell me, dude. Just tell me if everyone else is, has bad picks. That's what I need to know. Should be 30-26, dude. All right, so everyone's doing bad tonight. Everyone on top is doing eh, so it's hard to tell. Pat Matthews, thank you for the 199. Roadhouse was atrocious. Don't watch it, dude. Just from the trailer alone, it looks so bad. So bad. And this fight card's killing my video off right now. Okay. Yeah, it should be a W. There's no way it's actually good. I could tell from the trailer it was horrible. Damn. Are so many mixed reviews of Roadhouse, dude? There's. So many dumbass MMA fans that just want it to be good because Connor's in it. Now, I'd rather watch the last fight. Last fight's only 15 minutes. The movie's like two hours, probably. There's 
So. How many fights are on the main card? Joe, I missed the fight and your reaction to the bite. What the fuck happened? Dude bit him. That's it. That's all I can say. Dude straight up bit him. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you, man. He was biting him. He was grabbing his dick, too, while he was doing it. He was trying to twist his dick. He was trying to twist his dick up. So like, yeah, let me do that. Just watch it. Can't be that bad. Nah, I'm not watching that shit, dude. That shit's horrible. I guarantee that shit's horrible. Can you guys all like the stream while you're at it? I need to. I gotta. I gotta pump. I gotta do my post fight tonight, and then I gotta do another video. I don't know what video I'm gonna do. I have a couple in the bank, a little bit. Um, but I'm trying to get to 20k. I would love to get 20k before April 1st. So I need a couple more bangers to put out. I could do a video on Chandler's new interview where he confirms the fight, but he doesn't confirm a time or a weight class or a bout agreement signed. Plus Dana White's response about it. Plus discuss the Conor McGregor um, shit. I have the Islam video I want to do. I want to do another video on Colby and Gary, but I have to do my fucking predictions tomorrow. I don't know. So we'll see. And I might be too tired. Do you charge him with sexual assault? Imagine if Connor just stuck to MMA and lived simple monk s lifestyle. So many fights could have been made. Dude, think about it. his career was over. His career was over after he beat Eddie Alvarez. So. Imagine if Connor do the Connor ESPN interview videos. I already did that one, but I'm saying I could I could talk about how Chandler's saying it's guaranteed he's acting all happy and whatnot. So so. I'm shitting the bed on picks tonight. Yeah. Do more Gregor videos, bring you largest viewers, but it has to be something pertinent. It has to be something. I'm not just spamming shit to spam shit. All right. It has to be something worth doing a video on, which I have a couple ideas. I may or may not. What are they talking about now? Let's see. What was he in a car accident? Is that what they're saying? The fights have been crazy. Tough dudes are garbage for sure. Rose, Namunis, and Perv Barry have a ride at the apex. Do 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 do. 
Time flies when you're having fun. That's why this fight feels like a triathlon. That's facts, bro. Dude, he boss is garbage. Look at these highlights. Even these highlights, she's garbage. Her striking looked horrible in that fight. She lost the first two rounds, and then the girl she was fighting gassed out. Pat Barry ruined Rose's career, in my opinion. Yeah, this this main card actually isn't bad. It's overhated a bit. Michelle Waterson was a bomb. By the way. I remember people thought Paige Van Zant might win that fight. I'm going to go back and look at that on tap. I knew. I knew. Do I have pinning down all these fighters for Reboss? She beat the piss out of Paige Van Zant. That was all the way back in 2015. Let's see what the pick ratio was. 52% non -minus. They're going to say he's cut. They're going to say he's cut. That's crazy. What if he, what if somehow it was a mistake? I know that sounds crazy, but in the heat of the moment, you might not know what's going on. Yeah, you're allowed to you're allowed to grab the fence sixty times, but you can't bite. Like I, I like why is it like Lima? Oh my god! Now we got to hear about bets. I refuse to even film these live. I don't even remember Dern Hill, dude. I remember it was garbage, but I don't remember it that much. Dude, Trey Ogden just dominated them. So... Let me go listen to this. Let me know when the fight starts. I'm going to listen to this Diego Sanchez shit. Um, it took two and a half years to get to 10K. Now you're going to get 20K in 10 months. Is that is that the math on it? Let me take a look. 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 Lifetime subscribers. So it took me from April 1st, 2021 to July 11th. Hold on. I don't know. It doesn't have 11th here. So July 11th, July 12th to get 10,000. So what's that equal? Two years to April. Then you have all of April, all of May, all of June. So it took me two years, three months. Two years, three months to get to 10,000. And then it took me, well, it would be all April, May. It took me 
two years and two and a half months to get to 10,000. Two years, two and a half months. Then half a month to August. So and then all of August, all September, all October, all November, all December, all January, all February, and say all of March. Eight and a half months to double that. So two years, two and a half months to get to 10,000. And then eight months, if you include to the end of this month, if you include the next thing. So, because you have all August, all September, all October, all November, December, January, February, March. Be, it'd be eight and a half months. Eight and a half months. I think I said that originally. If you count to the end of March, if I get it by the end of March. That's wild when you think of it that way. That's fucking wild, dude. You just eyeballed it. Yeah. So. That's actually fucking crazy. Do, 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 do. That's actually fucking wild. So imagine I can double my subs again in another eight and a half months. That'd be all of April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That would mean midway through December, I'd have 40K. Double your subs in less than a year. That is fucking wild. But I haven't reached 20K yet. Who knows? I may stall out. I may stall out right now. <coughs> Listen, if I get the 20K before April 1st, I'll do a crazy, 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 crazy long live stream on April 1st. Like four or five hours. Because April 1st is the three year anniversary exactly since I started my channel. So if I can say I hit 20K before the, th or on or before the three year anniversary, I'm gonna be hyped as fuck. That's why I gotta pump out more videos. That's why I gotta pump out more videos. I have so many video ideas, but it's just not enough time in the day. I already have a banger video idea about Islam Makasho. I already have a banger video about the lightweight division. I already have a banger video about how the lightweight division well, really was. Um, I'm done, dude. Joe Martinez busting a move. Cutting it up. I just, I just got to get on it. I just got to get on it. So, I'm a thousand out. I have 10 days to get a thousand subs right now. What's the exact sub number right now? 19,013. Exactly right now. I would rather have better cards every two weeks. I doubled my subs three months ago, a couple years ago. I went from 12 to 24, currently sitting at like 27. If you need any tips, let me know. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see. I took a screenshot last night. Let's see how many subs I had last night. Last night... At 2 a.m., I had 18,880 subs. So, there you go. No, don't even do that, Roy. Don't even do that, dude. I don't need that. I don't want that. So. Don't do that, Roy. Don't fuck with me, bruh. I want to grow it. Or 100% organically. But yeah, if you're watching and you're not sub, sub. But don't go make, don't go subbing on your other accounts. So. We'll definitely have 2024 this year. What do you mean? What does that mean? Time for the main card, boys. Let me go change my. Damn, I made it all the way to the main car with one pick, right? So. I'm tired. Numbers are confusing. Okay.
If you get 20k April first, you gotta do a crazy stream. Yeah, it'll be like four hours at least. Just a regular four hour stream. At least. We'll see how I'm feeling. Nah, it's not I'm not doing an eight hour stream. That's that's not happening. Welcome back. Paul Paul Thought it was Pajeo. Dude, look at uh, Padilla's head, dude. It looks weird. Dude, go watch Luis Pajelo. Pajelo. Go look at his last fight. He damn near murdered a dude because it was a horrible stoppage. All right, here we go. Next fight. Hopefully, the main card's actually decent. Bro, 100K. I'm about to get another 100K video as well, dude. It's at 81K. It stalled out with the fights going on, but it might pick back up. So, I'm going to have 200K videos almost, probably. 303.45. All right. Badia. I'm done. Dude's a clown. Make sure I have the right thing up. Okay, let me actually set up. I'm trying to get better posture, man. Sitting in this chair for too long. Makes it fucking uncomfortable. Puelo, Puelo, Puelo. I think I picked Padilla first round KO or two. Guru did an eight hour stream waiting for Dana to announce the main. Dude, people were buying onto those announcements. Puelo lands a low kick immediately. When he was just kind of saying, oh, I might announce it later today or this or that. Wasn't even committing to anything. Good leg kick by Padilla. Ooh, leg kick by Pujelo. All for them to announce that it's just a post-fight presser and mundanely. Leg kick from Padilla again. Padilla is more technical. Pujelo is just a fucking crazy, savage, maniac motherfucker. Left hook from Padilla. Padilla chin to Rosa. I think that's what I'm thinking of, too. Dude, dude's the definition of P-head. Front kick from Padilla. Dude, someone needs to start calling Padilla P-head. Dude's literally P-head. Oh, Pajelo's coming in, ripping big shots. Lands a body shot. Ooh, body kick from Padilla. Teep kick from Padilla. Good leg kick, calf kick from Padilla. Then side kick to the body as Pajelo tries to rush in. Ooh, nice uppercut by Padilla. Ooh, big right hand by Padilla. It's an elbow. Teep from Padilla. Padilla's chopping him up right now. Good leg kick from Padilla. Ooh, step in knee from Padilla. Ooh, big right hand from Pohalo. I'm not watching Bigfoot Silva ever. Nasty body kick by Padilla. Pajelo's just a monster. Big right hand from Pajelo. Ooh, big left hand from Padilla. He puts him out. He puts him out. He's finished him with ground and pound. He wasn't out cold. He's swarming him here. Ref was about to stop it, but he didn't. He hangs on. Oh, Padilla was about to stop him there, and he's he make a mistake. Big right hands from Padilla. Big elbows from Padilla. Smashing him here from guard. Half guard, I think. Dude, I'm done. Pajelo's throwing hammer fish on the bottom while he's getting smashed. Big elbows from Padilla. Oh my god, he's getting smashed here. Stop the... F what the hell's going on with the replay? Dude, he's getting fucked up. It was close to being stopped there. It should have been probably stopped there. He's getting up. Oh, he's got a choke here. He taps him. Padilla just wrecked him badly, dude. 
badly. That's why I couldn't pick Pahalo, dude. If you watch his fight, he fights he looked amateurish. Thank God I got a pick right. This was probably one of my more confident picks. But I knew Pahalo had nasty power, so I was worried about it. Dude, he beat the dog shit out of him. The dog shit out of him. I'm telling you, watch Pahalo's fights. He's kind of amateurish. Thank God I picked Padilla. Thank God I picked Padilla. Put Halo. Was smashing him. Darstroke. I always get confused Darce and Anacondas. I always forget. I looked it up a million times and I always, it's hard for me to differentiate. I know it's where the arm is, which side the arm's on, chest side or, or the grip hand. Damn. Padilla beat the fuck out of him. I picked him second round. I thought I picked him first round. Apparently the biter also grabbed his dick. I know I've been saying that, bro. Lucas one and six on picks. Oh well. I'm two I'm two and fucking five right now, bro. Dude, picks are hard. People act like picks are so easy, but they don't put their picks out. Padilla was fucking him up. Done. It's a Bravo choke. Dude, there's so many fucking different chokes from that same position. Do, do, do. Billy Q versus Yusuf Salah up next. Hell, I'm just happy to get back in the winning column. I swore. Let me check something. They called it a Darce. Darce and Anaconda, same thing. I know I should know that, but I don't. Off the top of my head. Darce. First. Okay, Darce and Bravo, same thing. Ups and downs. I want to shit and missed it. Dude, he fucked him up. You said Mexican John Jones. I don't think so, bro. Dude, he beat the dog shit out of him. Rose Rebos, the battle of the 20K payout. Nah, I doubt it's that bad. Soon as I get this, he's tapping.
Mexican corn dog. <laughs> I'm done. Got it done. Dude, he outworked him everywhere beforehand, too. That's wild. Damn. Dude, I can't believe, like, I've already accepted it many years ago, but I still can't fathom, dude. Connor's literally done. It wouldn't shock me if Connor never literally fights ever again and ends up fighting in, like, a weird ass. A weird ass, like, influencer boxing Saudi Arabia bullshit. I I'm honestly thinking he may never fight in the UFC again. So. You Yusuf Salah was literally fuck, fighting at the, I just said fucking fighting at the Kentucky State Fair his last few fights. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with Connor, but that was fucking wild. I'm picking Yusuf Salah by uh decision. I'm gonna go piss real quick before the next fight. I'll be right back, boys. I'll be R B. I'll be R B.
All right, here we are. Quarantillo's law. Let me put that up. So I'm ready. Oh, they're just stalling. They're just stalling, I guess. That's annoying. I, wa I walked downstairs and went to the bathroom and petted my dog. If you're wondering why I was going so long. I wasn't taking a dump, even though everyone says that every time I leave. So. It's crazy sitting in a chair for this long. That's why I never did it for the longest time. But then I just started doing it. I've seen Connor look bad before, but that interview topped them all. I know. He looked horrific. Absolutely horrific. So. Anyway, my dog was happy to see me. So there's that. My dog was happy to see me. Excuse me. There you go. There's another burp on stream for you. Can you still record with the desk elevated? I don't know. I've never looked at the camera angle, really. I got, I got to make sure. I haven't raised it all the way up in a while. I've only raised it like maybe like here-ish. Like my desk is here. I, I got to look into that because I think... Because I only have I have two surge protectors that are screwed to the desk, and then I so I only have two plugs. I gotta check out. I gotta check out if I can raise it all the way full standing, without those stretching out. I've raised it where I can work when it's standing, but I'm kind of hunched down still a little bit. Um, because I, I'm gonna have to start doing that for post fights is just standing and recording. But I have to see what the camera angle looks like and what's in the camera angle. You know, if it looks wonky or not. Because, because honestly, it's crazy sitting here all night and then recording from a seated position too. And I basically, I basically got ADHD. So like for me, sitting for these full cards is fucking crazy. I just got a million things I want to go do. I want to go run around downstairs and fuck off. And I'm just sitting here staring at a screen the whole time. Um, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. But it's just like for me, sitting in one spot, like I need to just start roaming around the room the whole time. So. Isn't it funny, by the way, none of the mainstream media covered Connor twitching like a fucking junkie? Isn't that crazy? So. Dude, Mick Parkin talking about, let's see how far I go. You're not going far, dude. In a heavyweight division, that's garbage. Like ESPN didn't even cover that. <laughs> Bye. Saw many YouTube videos about it. Yeah, there's many YouTube videos about it. I'll tell you this, I was first though. I was first, but anyway, none of the mainstream MMA media. See what this is. Damn. Ron, you fuck. Damn. That's fucked up. Anyway. Let's see. Let's check the broadcast and see if it's back yet. I'm just perusing around online. I'm pissed my video kind of died down a little bit because of the fights. It's still doing good. It's still doing good, but still. Uh, what a night, boys. That is true. Luckily, I don't have to do a main event breakdown. Luckily, I don't have to do a main event breakdown. So there's that. I just got to do a full card breakdown, and then I'm going to do another video. Might be on the, I might do a video on the Chandler interview. 
I might try to do three videos tonight. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, though. Chandler interview, maybe lightweight division video. Maybe Ian Gary Colby video. You're itching for a cuts? I know, dude. What what video do I have to do for cuts? Let's see. Major results. Now let's go UFC. Results. So it'd be this card to Avasa card. What was the last one I did? I did 299, right? So, what the fuck we got going on here? Hold on a second. Anyway. Let me, <laughs> let me, what the fuck was I about to look at? Oh, when's the last time I did the cuts? They're crazy for airing that video, I know. Let me see, cuts, 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 cuts. Cuts, where did I do the cuts? Where are the cuts at? Oh, I did 298 in Mexico Fight Night. So I should have the Shamil Gazeev card, 299. Chibura type to Avasa. And uh, what I'll do is who, maybe I'll do like who does the UFC need to cut. And then I'll put, Mar oh shit, first round starting. Good thing I went back to that. Leg kick from Zalal. I'll do who needs to be cut from the UFC. And then I'll do month edition. And I'll do it at the end of the month. And that way I don't have to do it right on Sunday. Damn, I caught that at the perfect time. Good leg kick by Zalaw. I picked Zalaw by decision. I think Zalaw is way better than Billy Q. Or significantly better than Billy Q. Let's put it that way. Billy Q is not good, dude. People hype him up because he's durability. It's just too... It screws me on the Sundays. Good leg kick from Zalaw. It screws me on Sundays because I'm tired and I got to work on full car predictions for the following week. So that's why it's kind of fucked me. Dude, Zalal's already looking good, man. So. But yeah, hopefully I'll do that. I'll do it like a monthly edition. And, and I can do it during the week whenever. Like following the last month, fight of the card of the month. Billy Q rushing forward. Ooh, nice right hand by uh, Zalal. Let Shamil Gaziev event the Apex with some mud. Winter chugs a kegger and cheap beer. Dude. Shamil versus Gazeev. Dude, I pick Gazeev in that fight, too. What's good, Joey? Hope you're well, bro. Been a wild year for content creation. Yeah, it has been. It's been crazy. This For me, this last month has been crazy. I'm assuming... Do you have a channel? Is that what you're saying? You have a channel? Like, I'm seeing the name, Leo Cooper MMA. But I'm not really like checking out MMA YouTube, but I'm assuming maybe the way you said that you have a channel, I'll have to check it out. Nice left hand by Zalaw to the body. Nice jab by Zalaw. Good leg kick. Zalaw's piecing him up right now. I'm moving side to side well. Billy Q just out cardios and out gritties, out, out gritty and out durabilities people, basically. Even though that doesn't necessarily make sense. Ooh, nice right hand by Zalaw to the body. Ooh, nice right hand upstairs by Zalaw. Knee to the body by Zalaw. Dude was fighting at the Kentucky State Fair. Now he's beating up Billy Q. Nice jab by Zalaw. And, and Zalaw's got good cardio. Nice right hand by Zalaw. Yep. This is going to be easy pick unless he gasses. I'm so happy I picked Zalaw. Billy Q clinches up with him because he's getting outstruck on the feet. Take down attempt from Zalaw. Or from Billy Q on Zalaw. He's got good takedown defense, though. And he's got good scrambles to get back to his feet. We saw it against Tapori and good submission defense. I do feel like there's been an explosion of content creators in MMA this year. There really is a lot. On my on my uh, YouTube account, they're in the clinch. Zalaw breaks out. I've been clicking on a lot of small MMA YouTubers and watching like a little bit here and there. Not much, though. Just so I get those in my recommendations on my channel, my MMA channel, at least. Ooh, Billy Q landed... Good shot. It looks like, nah, I think he just slipped. 
And there's just so many channels now. Oh, good knee by Zalal. He hurt Billy Q. He hurt Billy Q with a, with a knee. Oh, yes. Yeah, Zalal fucking him up. Oh, another knee from Zalal. Billy Q swinging wild. Catches the kick. Throws it over, top el over the top elbow, but it doesn't land. Dude. Oh, drops him or just tripped him. Oh, big elbow by Zalal. From the Kentucky State Fair. The body and Billy Q. Let's go. Don't get caught in a submission, bro. Don't pull, don't give me a homos. I need picks right. I need picks right today. You should just let him up, Zalal. You were fucking him up on the feet. Good elbow from Zalal. Good elbow from Zalal again. Fucking him up. Don't gas out. Come on. I feel like most people were picking Billy Q. I don't know for sure, though. So, Law, don't end up in a scramble here. You got good submission defense. Billy Q got his feet in the cage. Oh, big right hand from Zalaw on the ground and pound. I'll read the chat again in a second. Give me a sec. He's fucking him up right now. Oh, he's about to take his back. About to take his back. Oh, body triangle. Easy work from Zalaw, but he's hanging over the side here. Billy Q's standing up with Zalal on his back. 34 seconds to go. Let's go. Dude, he could spike him on his head right now, to be honest. Oh, he's looking for a rear naked. He might have it. It looks tight. It looks tight. It looks tight. He's fighting the grip hand. He's fighting the grip hand. Dude, Billy's trying to survive. He's turning red. Billy! <laughs> he's grimacing. Come on, tap, Billy. 10 seconds. He's going to survive. He's going to survive. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, apparently, Zalal got cut from the UFC after these lost three losses a couple years ago. I take it he's improved. He has improved. I had Mighty Mouse react to my video on my channel, which is generally wild. That's fucking crazy. That is crazy. Zalal switched one. Dude, he's fighting at the Kentucky State Fair. You're killing it, though, Joey. Keep it up per, as per. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, especially uh, from someone else who makes videos. There's a lot of people who are just haters out there so i appreciate i appreciate the kind words man i'll have to check out your channel i'll check it out later but appreciate it i really do um who's winning zalal dominated him in the first round zalal dominated him damn it Um, so I'll beating the fuck out of him. Leo has the same subs as me. That's pretty cool. It was a nasty nay. All right, let's see. Billy Q is going to come out aggressive now. Dude, this should be the big cage too. Show some appreciation for your haters. So, ooh, big right hand by Billy Q. Ooh, left hand from Zalal. Knee from Zalal again. For these fight night cards, easy takedown from Zalal. No work. These fight night cards don't get a lot of viewers, dude. It's hard to get live viewers. You have no idea because you don't have a channel. But, hey, man, I'm doing this shit for fun, so fuck you. You wish. You wish. Zalal's going to dominate him. I picked Zalal by decision just because Billy Q is so durable. Elbow from Zalal. Oh, he's hammer fist. Oh, ends up in a triangle position. He pulls out of it, though. Billy Q gets to his knees. But, dude, Billy Q's outmatched on the ground. Zalal's looking to take his back here. Has one hook in. Oh, but Billy... Oh, gets the second hook in. Billy Q tried to turn into him. He's trying to turn into him here. He's got the body triangle and reposition square on the back, man. Zalal is dog and Billy Q. Yes. Yes. For once, a good pick. Mafia is a guru meet right on. Hey, look, I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. They can hate all they want. I'm just out here having fun. Oh, rear naked choke attempt from Zalal again. 
Oh, it's tight, but he's fighting the grip. He taps. Stallone dominated him. Yes. I feel like most people pick Billy Q. Let me go look at Tabology. From the Kentucky State Fair to this. Let's see. Come on. Everyone pick Billy Q. Please, please. Yes, 71% pick Quarantillo. They didn't watch the law. They didn't watch the law. Let me go look at it. Jake Childers. I'm going to tweet that out right now. At the Kentucky State Fair for 200 bucks and a funnel cake to back to the UFC and dominating Billy Q. Boom. And a screenshot of it. I'm 2-8 on picks. Dude, you should have watched. Dude, I, I was pretty confident in Zalal. Zalal dominated him, man. The takedowns were like trips. <sighs> Does anyone remember the story of the one of Ali Abdelaziz's fighter caught climbing out of the fight island? Yeah, it's um, I can picture his face. He got knocked out by Matt Frivola. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he got knocked out by Matt Frivola, so you can easily find him. Otman Azitar. Let's go. That's wild. <laughs> Billy's so inconsistent. How's Noah? So law got it done, man. The log pretty good. I would have never thought this guy spoke English as well. It's a tough. I'm hey, I'm just hyped to get another pick right. Third pick night of the right. Third pick right of the night. What's my win loss in 2024? After last week and this week, it's probably like 62%. Fuck. 59%. But the last two, the last two cards have been really bad. Knocked down. The knee was nasty. 
Main card has been decent so far? Yes, true. I'm just so happy I picked a lot. I'd be kicking myself right now if I didn't pick him. <laughs> Ooh, who you picking in Talbot? Salmon? I picked Talbot. But I'm not confident in that. How did she just survive that knee from hell? I have no idea. That sneeze just hurt my entire body. Let's see. Quarantillo. Okay, boom. So let's see. Ten seconds. 324 40 324 40 324 40 324 40 oh my god they're hyping up justin gaethje max holloway yeah 50 g's baby guy who says that coin that term is uh is a cokehead now Guys, do me a favor. Like the stream. I would appreciate it if you liked the stream. They're playing a promo for 300 right now. Yeah, Blanchfield Fior is actually in front of a crowd. Actually, it's better than the original main event, honestly. It was epic at the time. Yeah, it was funny at the time. I think Gaethje beats the fuck out of Holloway. Yeah, he's asking for 50 grams of coke. I'll never forget when fucking, dude, fucking her elbow dropped him and leg dropped him. I feel like Connor may never fight again. I'll be shocked if Holloway wins. But who knows, maybe he does. I'm I'm less down on it than I was originally. I'm gonna start on some three hundred content this week, actually. Dude beat up the Korean zombie. Dude was getting touched by the Korean zombie, though. Max was getting touched up by the Korean zombie. He's supposed to beat Gaethje up a weight class. I'd have rather had the Dustin Trilogy, to be honest. Don't wonder if Holloway, the casuals pick is Justin by overpowering him. Dude, he's getting touched up by the dead body of Korean zombie. Max has a lot of the biased fans because people like him. Dude, if he swings like he did like that. I think he's going to take Max's hit chin. I think he's going to end him like he ended Tony Ferguson. So, 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 talking about UFC three hundred right now.
So. I just can't believe Gaethje's taking that fight, man. I think Max is going to get his life ended in that fight. Gaethje has to be the favorite in that fight, 100%. Dude, this next fight's going to be good. This is a banger fight next. I got to take off my headphones. Problem is, I take off my headphones and then I start kind of peeping around at what's going on online and then I forget and I don't realize the fight's starting and they move faster than normal so so All right, let's get out of this. I'm looking. I always try to look for pictures too. While the fights are going on, I see if there's any good pictures tweeted out so I can save them for my post fight in the future. This next fight should be a banger, though. I'm excited for this one. Should be a banger. I, I still can't believe Hamos is straight up dumbass. Is a straight up dumb ass motherfucker. Dude was fucking him up. There's no good pictures posted? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What a joke. Let's see if the UFC posted anything. I looked at MMA fighting. I'm not seeing anything yet. Damn, that's wild. Oh, I'm not even looking at the UFC's profile. I'm just searching through UFC. I'm dumb. Let me, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. There's, There's got to be at least a good picture of the knee from Yusuf's Law, right? That's wild. All right, there, all there is is a good of the, of the bite, basically. So... If I had pennies for each time Joey said, I'm taking off the headphones, I'll be a dollar richer. There you go. Um, looks like Ehorse Serverino won't be on my cuts list if I make a monthly cuts. It's looking like it. I'm excited for this next fight, though, boys. I hope they just keep trucking through these fights, though. I hope they just keep trucking through them. Talbot going to smash Simon? I picked Talbot to be a decision, but we'll see. I got three picks right so far. Three, four, five, six, seven. I can go seven and six tonight. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm ner I can't believe I had such bad picks to jump off the card, man. Holloway didn't say he's training at lightweight. He's just fighting Justin for a gimmick belt for 300. Holloway's a top-ranked feather. How does that not make sense? Doesn't make sense at all, dude. Because he's going to get knocked out by Justin Gaethje and his career is going to be over. When his chin's completely gone because he got it smashed in by an elite level striker up a weight class who has the nastiest power in the whole weight class. Meanwhile, he probably could have fought Taporia while Volk had some time off. 
And if I was Volk, I would have campaigned for Holloway to get the title shot. Because then if Holloway wins, I get a fourth fight with Holloway and I can beat the fuck out of him. So. Daniel Zellhuber called out. Called out what's his name for a rematch, Trey Ogden. So, make sure there's nothing going on with the fight. Oh, they're showing the sphere right now. I guess they're just. Do you run it wrote for your call for your card recaps? It's crazy how you do those in one take. Yeah, I, I type down like anything like super important round by round specific. You know, um, I have a whole Google document for it, but like nothing crazy. Like I'll read you some of the shit I type. Um. Zalal, like round one, Zalal dominating him on feet, takes back at the end of round and looks for rear naked choke. Just so I can genuinely just kind of remember certain moments. Um, and half the time I don't even really read them. I just have them in case I need them for reference. Like like here I have on Serverino versus Lima, I have a note about him grabbing the fence. And I have Tyone screaming time but not touching them. But yeah, it is crazy to do them in one take. Sometimes I fuck shit up and people comment and say, hey, you, you misspoke here, you said the wrong thing here, or you forgot this, you forgot that. It is what it is. It happens sometimes. I can't remember everything from every card. And a lot of the time before I record them, when I end the stream, I'll go back and watch a couple of the early fights or at least skim through just to kind of get a reminder of what it looked like. If that makes sense. But also, I like to have the notes in case I need to look back like for another video in like a week or something. So, Ilya versus Max. Has this card been good? I haven't watched any of the fights. The ma two main card fights have been good so far. Dude, I know. It's annoying as fuck, Fries. I understand, trust me, what I'm trying to say. If Max beats number two ranked gauge, he has a title shot right there in the division. Okay. If, big if. Let's see if he does it. I think the probability of him doing that is very, very low. Theoretically. The card has been crap. Unfortunately, Aaron's versus win is, was a good though. Yeah, that's, that is one of the good fights. Where the fight at in the apex. We're about to get Ta Talbot versus Simon. Or Samen. However you pronounce it. Seaman, whoever cares. Who, who gives a fuck? I was debating on this pick. This is a close fight. And I don't like the fact... I thought Talbot was going to be bigger. But it looks like they're about the same size. Even maybe... Uh, damn, I just fucked up my mic. Even What's-His-Name might be a bit bigger. Which I was shocked by. I thought for sure Talbot was going to be bigger. I got a little bit of dust here. Pause. Imagine I just adjust my mic down here. Right here. Can you guys still hear me all right? Imagine... Let's see what this looks like. This actually doesn't look too bad, but it's usually like right up here-ish, I believe. Now nah, I fucked up my mic. I think it's like right about there, typically. And realistically, I should be sitting up square. Oh, an absolute unit right there. Look at that absolute unit. Imagine I just sit like this the whole time. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. They're, they're stalling too long for a fight. I'm going to drop the people's elbow on a motherfucker. Just an absolute fucking unit. I remember one time I was leaning in and someone was like, Joey, I recommend not leaning that close to the camera. You're fucking ugly. I'm like, 
You're judging other men's looks about an MMA YouTube channel? Fuck you. Eat a fat one. Yeah, this is the longest amount of commercials I've ever seen. Yeah, Simon has diarrhea right now. I'm done. Sam Alvey's winning. I think you're sexy. Thank you. I've already hit 19K subs. I'm aiming for 20 before April 1st. So I got to put out multiple videos tonight. I might make a video on the Chandler interview. That's a super hot topic right now, and I'm just killing it on that. So. It's going to be interesting. Oh, Cameron Simon versus Peyton Talbot. It's about to go down, boys. Dude, I can't get over the fact that Simon looks like, like a woman. A bit. Am I wrong? Pretoria. 354. It's going to be a banger. All right, here we go, boys. All right, here we go. Three. There we go. It's going to be an interesting fight. Yeah, Talbot is bigger, I think. Somebody lied to me. Left hand from Talbot, Lance. Talbot's the better striker. Simon's the better grappler. Head kick from Simon. Leg kick from Simon there. It's one of the best fights on the card here. Ooh, rips to the body from Talbot and then upstairs. This was a tough fight to pick on the card. It's a good battle of like kind of upcoming bantamweight prospects. Ooh, nasty body kick from Talbot. Body kick from Simon. Ooh, right hand from Talbot just barely misses. Ooh, right hand from Simon misses. Yeah, that body kick landed hard. You can see the redness on his body. Nice right hand by Talbot. Step in knee from Talbot misses. Ooh, big one two from Talbot lands. That was nasty. Talbot's looking good on the feet. I think Simon's going to have to grapple. Check the leg kick, I thought. Ooh, left hand from Talbot, right hand from Talbot. Knee just barely misses the chin. This is a good fight already. Ooh, Talbot stinging him with big shots. Dude, Talbot's fucking him up on the feet bad right now. Ooh, Simon gets dropped with a left hook. He doesn't even go after him. Talbot doesn't even go after him. Dropped him with a check left hook. As Simon kind of rushed in. Dude, he's tagging him at will. Nice body kick from Simon. Then he trips him down. Dude, Talbot's bullying him right now. Oh! Nasty knee by Talbot. I thought he slept him. He survived. Hurt him bad. Ripping him to the body. He's hurt. Ripping him upstairs. Ripping him to the body. Knee from Simon. Talbot's fucking him up right now. Bullying him. Oh, step in knee. Talbot looks nasty. Dude, how does Simon still there? His eyes are still there. Dude, I thought Simon got slept. Oh, he eats another knee. Another knee to the body this time. Big elbow. Oh, fucking him up. Slumping him. Oh, fucking him up. Oh, God. He's melting him. Dude, Simon's tough as hell. Dude, he keeps shooting on desperation takedowns here. Rolls. Talbot follow him down. You should just stand up. Oh, Talbot landing left hands on the way up. They're back to their feet now. Dude, Talbot was fucking him up there. Bad. That knee is landing at will. See if he throws another one. He's fainting it. Rips to the body. Dude, Tyone's got a... Ooh, big left hand from Cameron Simon. Just misses. 
Do Talbot just keep catches the kicks? Talbot's just walking down. Oh, head kick from Talbot showing no respect. Oh, right hand from Talbot. Leg kick from Talbot. Dude, Talbot's looking really good in his first round. We'll see what his cardio looks like if it keeps going. Oh, head kick from Simon almost lands. Big step in elbow from Talbot. Oh, knee to the body by Talbot. Uppercut from Talbot. This is a great fight. Oh, dude, it's just Talbot has a power advantage here. Talbot's showing no respect, man. He's just walking forward. Body kick from Talbot. Dude, just tagging him right now. He's walking him down. Rip to the body from Talbot. Upstairs with combinations. I thought he slapped him with the original knee. Right hand from Talbot. Every time Simon throws a body kick. Oh, spinning heel kick from Talbot. But partially blocked. Oh, good spinning kick from Simon to the body. But Talbot just walks towards him. That had to hurt. Oh, dude, Talbot's fucking landing and just not respecting him at all, dude. That's a low shot. He said he's ready. Talbot said he didn't want to go. So let him go. Oh, never mind. He says he's good. I turn off my timer. Simon landed a groin shot there. Dude, Talbot was fucking him up too. He didn't want to take no time. Showing the replay. Dude, dude every time... Oh, head kick from Talbot. Dude, Talbot is looking filthy on the feet right now. Better than I thought. Dude, Simon's throwing big shots, but he's not really landing. Good leg kick. Oh, left hand from Talbot lands. Oh, step in knee from Talbot just misses. Oh, nice left hand from Simon. Oh, Talbot landing at will now. But a lot of those were blocked, actually. There was only one that landed really clean. Front kick from Simon. Oh, nice left hand from Simon. Simon's landing now, too. Good leg kick from Simon. Simon's tough as hell. Ooh. Ooh, step in knee again. Lands to the body from Talbot. Simon's throwing big shots. Easy takedown from Talbot at the end. Dude, that was nuts. Talbot was fucking him up. Dude, I think that's probably a 10-8, honestly. He was hurting him bad. Dude, but Talbot's got to show a little bit of respect. Dude, he was working him over. The knees to the body, the elbows. Here we go. Ooh, Simon gets dropped badly. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's trying to get up, but it's it was pretty much over. I don't know how he survived. Dude, he's smashing him here. He stops it. Second round TKO Talbot. Destroyed him. Destroyed. I'm glad he stopped it. It was a little bit of a weird stoppage. It was per it was it was a little bit late, if anything. Talbot just fucked him up. Just fucked him up badly, man. It wouldn't be a Cameron Simon fight without a foul, by the way. Dude, it was over from the second he dropped him. He was smashing him with ground and pound. Left hook. Dude, he was done right here. Dude, he took a lot of damage in that fight. The striking was just on different levels. The power was on different levels. I wonder if I was one of the few that picked Talbot here.
I wonder if I was the feel. Let me take a look. Let me go take a look. No, it was 53% pick Talbot, honestly. That's crazy. I thought a lot of people would pick Simon, Simon because they knew him more. Yes, come on. I can go eat. I can go positive on this card. I just checked. I saw that, bro. I, was, I just thought. I assumed. I assumed wrongly. Forgot to turn off my timer. Damn, left hook and then smashed him on the ground. You think there's Cameron so Cameron Simon fanboys? I must say Cameron Soy Boys. I didn't know they I didn't know they existed to be honest. Look, I'm be honest. It wouldn't be a Cameron Simon fight if he's not fouling somebody. That's what kind of annoys me a little bit. But I like Cameron Simon. I think he's decent. So Talbot's so bad, freak can't freak. Dude, his striking is sick, and he had a size advantage too. I can't believe majority of people picked Talbot. I'm shocked by that. No, he should not get a ranked opponent. It's too young. Who's saying it was an early stoppage? It's not an early stoppage. It was anything. It was a late stoppage. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Damn, dude. Peyton Talbot just beat the fucking brakes. You hate Talbot because people are overrating him. Did you pick Simon, though? Dude, he... Look, I'm be honest. I'm be honest, Fries. I'm on the Talbot hype train a little bit now. So. I don't think anyone's finished him. Dude, I like Talbot. I I mean the the performance was amazing, dude. He the striking looks so good. He's to grow into his frame, dude. He looks like a 13-year-old girl. Dude, Talbot beat the dog shit out of him. The dog shit out of him. Dude, how good did Simon just make Talbot striking look? He impo did he bullied him. That was crazy. He impo he bullied him. It was the definition of bullying. I'm so glad I picked Talbot. I'm so glad I picked Talbot. But to be honest, look, I know people are going to hype this up a bit, and I think it is worth being hyped a little bit. But I'm be honest, Cameron Simons beat nothing but bums, dude. Terrence Mitchell, Mana Martinez, Steven Kozlo. And he cheated in every single one of those fights. I just saying Talbot's still very young and very uh and I I just think I don't want to see him take a too big of a jump up too soon because then it'll ruin a, a prospect. I don't know who I would like to see him against, though. I'm just so happy I picked Talbot. Joe, what's the good word? What's up? Just came across you. Thank you. Appreciate you if you subscribed, I guess. 
If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, Fred. Post fight later tonight. A little more energy on the microphone after that would after the win would do well for his career. Yeah. But we're not gonna force him. We're not gonna force anything here. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm trying to get a twenty K before uh April first is the new goal. I got all these fucking tabs open right now. What was I going to look at? I was going to look at something. Oh, just open that. Push that button there. Joey wins me money. Thank you. I'm glad I got the, I'm getting the main card, right? Doo -doo. Dude, the new video is still doing well. It's trending over 30K higher than my 100K video. Once they can understand the long pauses are likable, they'll subscribe. What do you mean? What are you talking about, Fred? You should have a lot more than 20. Your insight is great. You know your shit. I was just one. Um, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't... I don't look, I'm not going to shit on other people that I don't really watch. But good for him, man. I'm not going to hate. Good for him. I'm happy for him, truly. 100K, Joey. Dude, I'm fucking hyped. Andy, I'm going to send you a message. Look at how this is trending. Look how this is trending compared to the other videos. The second video is the 100K video. The first video is the most recent video. Simon straight to the miners at PFL. Yes, yeah, send Simon out. Smart people subscribe to MMA Joey. Yeah, look. The thing is, at the end of the day, if you know what you're talking about, you will build long-term credibility, and that's what I'm trying to build here. You know, I, I think, I genuinely think I'm a, I'm a YouTube channel that when it co comes to complex topics, people can come to, even other YouTubers, and like, they know, okay, this guy's got facts. You know what I mean? This guy's got facts. And he doesn't try to portray opinions as facts. So... I'll bury him for you. I'll bury him for you. Sure. <laughs> Give me a year or two. I'll bury him bad. Um, then when the first start started, I heard the commentary. I subscribed. Yeah, there's usually not long pauses like that, but I was probably up to something. Dude, I gained like 1,600 subs since last Saturday, bro. I think it's like 16 or 1,700 subs. It updates every 24 hours, so it might be off a little bit, but something like that. Remember UFC was going to cut Colby? Yeah, but that's what he said. Get an interview with Talbot. Would love to. Joey's the best MMA streamer. How do you feel about this card? Main card's been decent. Prelims were shit. I assume Joanna is heading to OnlyFans any day now, probably. I mean, who knows? Talbot Simon should have been co-main. Do-do-do-do. Joey S tier MMA journalist, is that good or bad? I've seen that promo already. I wasn't paying attention. You should talk about the ramifications of the antitrust. See, I need to gather more thoughts about it. I had a lot of shit going on. So. So. So, by the way, I don't believe that Russian shit at all. I don't believe that Russian shit at all. I've seen I, that. I haven't seen any of the information on it, but I've seen some shit that Russia would cook up. I'm 
done. Joe, you using Connor as a media vehicle? Dude, they need to take Bo Nickel off the main card. Thank you for the 199 though, King Daniels. I appreciate you. Maybe one of the best promos ever. I agree. I really need to see Jamal Hill lose. He's become the most annoying, touchy, insecure fighters in the company. He's insufferable. Dope to see more people join the live streams. What's crazy is the regular live streams gets way, get way more viewers than the than like shitty fight night cards. Um especially shit cards like this, but there's been more viewers for this fight night card in general. Because this is a really shitty card. Dude, Peyton Talbot has nasty, 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 nasty striking. Edmund Shabazian's resume. Well, they actually moved Bo down the card. Yeah, they did. We found that out last week. You get too many subs, we'll stop responding to chats in your live. I'll do my best always. Had that guy bite if he had a mouth guard in? I guess you can still get pressure on it. It bothers me that Bo's on the main card as well when there's so many better fights. I would rather Yuri Rockage be on the main card. Do, 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 do. Better than last week's trash? Yeah, this is a way better card than last week. Yeah, regardless if it's fake or real or fake, Putin has said it's Ukraine with the United States backing. That's not a good thing. Yeah, I don't buy that at all. I've not seen any details. I'm not a source for information because i just seen it casually. I don't buy that shit at all. Let's change to the next one. Okay, I already read that. Dude, Talbot beat the dog shit out of him. Move Bo Nickel to the prelims. Petition. Guys, go like or respond to my tweet that I just posted. Petition to move Bo Nickel to the prelims. Respond it to the UFC. We need to put pressure on him. We need to put pressure on him. Dude, they need to bring Mike Goldberg back for 300. That'd be crazy. I thought a few years ago Shabazi might be something special, dude, but his cardio is horrible. I don't know why I'm still wearing these motherfuckers. I might, it might be time to buy some new headphones. To be honest. This coach is horrible, Hill. Bell? The main card's been flying by, though. I'm be honest. The main card's been kind of flying by, boys. I only want Hill to win, so 205 belt keeps changing hands. Look, I don't know who I'm picking. But whoever I pick is who I want to win. But I'm not going to lie. I would laugh a bit if Jamal Hill loses. Dude beats up his brother. I'd laugh my ass off if he ends up in jail and the fight in the main event gets canceled. Dude's a domestic abuser. Alleged domestic abuser. Alleged domestic violence perpetrator. And we know he has a he has a temperament for that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes, boys. It's hard to say for sure. Three fights left. Domestic violence breeds elite level MMA. He double doesn't check any leg kicks. Alex can brutalize him. That's facts. Dude, I just don't like Alex's defensive striking at all. He'll need to be slept for being enough of a bitch to beat up a non-fighter brother. Agreed. Agreed. I can't believe Carl Williams is co-main event. 
I would have thought it had been better to make Shabazzian or Talbot. Talbot beats a lot of guys in the top 10. I agree. I think it's too early to tell, man. I think it's too early to tell. His grappling isn't great. His grappling isn't great. So, I think we need to see him a couple more times before I make that determination. Alright, time for Edmund. Edmund is only 26, man. He got thrown to the Wolves too early and got his ass whooped, man. I remember I picked him over Derek Brunson. Then I realized he has no cardio. Thank you for the $2, Kay. That's crazy, though. He did look good against Cameron Simon. But I think we have to pump the brakes a little bit on that. His opponent fighting out of the red corner for 1910. I took Shabazi in second round KO. Mark Smith's your referee in charge of the action. Alright, here we go. Because Edmonds got good grappling when he's not gassed out, but he gasses out. And Edmonds, the way better striker. So, if he's chin in Brad Tavares, I know that was a while ago. Ooh, fast hand from Dobson catches him with an early combination. Dude, Dobson throwing really quick combinations early. Don't rush Talbot. I agree. They've done it to a lot of guys, rushed them too early. Ooh, Dobson getting aggressive. Dobson looking fast early. But Edmund does got that quit in him. But it's more of a gas tank issue, I think. He looks like he quits, but it's more of the gas tank than anything. I heard, that's it, baby. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. Nice. I think that's Dobson's corner. Oof. Dobson looking fast, but not landing a whole lot. He landed that first real quick combo. Nice jab to the body by Shabazian. Leg kick for inside leg kick from Dobson. Ooh, nice left hook by Shabazian. That got his attention. That got Dobson's attention for sure. Inside leg kick from Dobson. Dobson needs to start shooting. Ooh, nice left hook again from Shabazian as Dobson rushes in with big combinations that don't land. Good leg kick from Shabazian. Just touched him with that calf kick. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Dobson lands the right hand. Shabazzian's hurt. Oh, guillotine attempt from Dobson. Ooh, good knee by Dobson. Left hand from Dobson. Shabazzian's hurt. His legs are jelly and Dobson's not going after him. What is Dobson doing? All right, now they're exchanging again. Now Shabazzian takes him down with ease with a trip. Dude, did Dobson get clipped at some point? He hurt him bad. Looked like it look look for a guillotine for a second, threw a knee, landed flush, with shaky legs backing up, Shabazian. And then Dobson didn't go after him, and then Shabazian took him down. Shabazian looking for a rear naked. Almost got it, but Dobson's gonna end up on top. And this is not a good position for Shabazian here. Dobson must have got clipped with something. Because that was weird. He never went after him at all. That's wild. Dude, big left hand from Dobson, ground and pound. Another one. Dude, Shabazzian has no ground and pound defense at all, I swear. Elbows from the bottom from Shabazzian. Nice right hand from Dobson. Yeah, Dobson looking fast on the feet. May win this fight. 
Oh, the corner said he's looking at the time, AJ. Sabazian looking like he's going to try a submission, but I could just see him get clipped with a big ground and pound shot and quitting. He's throwing elbows from the bottom here, making it uncomfortable for Dobson. He's trying to get to his feet here. He gets to the fence. He gets to a knee, or he's about to get to a knee. He gets to a knee. Gets up. He's up. They're up against the fence now. Dude, Dobson fucked up not going after him after he had it hurt badly. And Dobson never fights at this pace, so I'm curious to see what his stamina looks like. Is Shabazi fit now grapple him here? Shabazian tries to get a takedown, ends up on bottom. Ends up on bottom for a second, and then they're back to the feet clinching. Dude, Shabazian grappling, you know this ain't going to turn out go well for him. They break. Okay, they're back to striking. Left hand lands for Dobson. Dude, Shabazian getting outstruck here. Shabazian's already looking tired, man. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that exhaustion in his eyes already. Leg kick from Shabazzian. It's just everything he throws is just a little bit labored. And his chin's out there. And he's not moving as well. And he's not moving his head or moving his feet as well. Left hand from Shabazzian hurts him. Don't throw a knee. Hurt him badly. Shabazzian's going to finish him here with big left hands. He's going to finish him here. He's out. He's out. Holy shit. <laughs> Nasty finish by Shabazzian. Fucking filthy ground and pound shots had his head bouncing off. That was a late stoppage by Mark Smith. That was nasty. That was fucking nasty. Holy shit. Dude, Shabazzian was in a bad spot up until he rocked him there. Dude, Dobson got put out a couple times on the ground. Twice he got knocked out. What he hurt him with initially? It was a left hook right behind the ear. No, it wasn't that. It was a right hook that Dobson landed that hurt him. And then a knee. It's a perfect knee. I had him hurt badly. And then never went after him after this. What did Shabazzin even hit him with? Dobson wasn't even hurt. Dobson wasn't even hurt and he finished him on the ground like a baby? What the fuck happened there? What the fuck even dropped him? Was that a wrong replay? It was a left hand and then knee from Dobson. I think it was like a side fist maybe. I don't even think he was hurt. That's wild. That's wild. I didn't say he's back. That's wild. Yeah, Edmund still is young. I know you might disagree, but if Bo wins at 300, they should match him up with Edmund. Continue the build. I don't think they even match him up with Edmund, dude. I think Edmund's going to be too much of a step up for him.
God damn, dude. He said, you're only 26 years old? Bo's been talking crazy as of late. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Just ability to take damage, not for Dobson, didn't end, didn't well. You're saying Bo isn't ready? No, I'm saying the UFC isn't going to give him shit. I'm not even sure what hurt him. Was it the, like the left punch to the side of the head here? I couldn't even see what landed, to be honest. You're still a young man. I think Bo can compete, maybe not win against the most middleweights outside the top guys. I would hope they start moving him along, similar to Ian Gary. We'll see. I think they're going to baby him. Maybe this next fight. I mean, Bo, Cody Bumdage is literally the bottom of the bottom of the bottomest barrel. Well, of course, there's still something going on. It was a left, but it didn't really land, bro. It, like, landed to the like to side like that, and I'm assuming that's what did it. Solid card so far. Solid main card. Solid main card. Time for that highly anticipated co-main event. That was the corniest commentary moment I ever heard in my entire life. They said, what time is it, Flavor Flav? That's just the corniest shit I ever heard. Who got one right? Who got one right so far? I'm cleaning up on the main card. That's the picks that most people look at anyway. So I look like a, I look like a know-it-all. Who got one right? Damn, Will's got seven. How come your girlfriend never watches these cards with you? She's downstairs watching. She's watching the card. She's watching the card with me right now. She's watching the stream on her iPad and she has the fights on the TV. So. Oh, they're playing a promo for next week. Time for that highly anticipated co-main event. Cap. Okay, you can think what you want. I don't give a fuck. I have nothing to prove to you. She always watches the fight card on the TV with me on the iPad. I'm on the iPad right now. Listen, if you're watching right now, Hold on, let's see. Who said cap? If you're watching right now, which I'm sure you are, give Rory a one-minute timeout for being a bitch, please. She's actually one of my uh, mods as well. Give him a one-minute timeout. Don't fuck it up either and actually time out for 30 minutes. Go ahead. And we'll wait a second and see if she's listening right now or not. I know she's watching for sure. She sent me a picture, but let's see if she's actually paying attention and listening. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. Let's see. Any second now. I hear some tussling downstairs. Maybe she's not. Time out Rory for one minute. I'm down to swing the band hammer. Let's see. He texted her. Okay. Rory is a spaz. Joey should get his girlfriend to get in the chat and see how it now. Absolutely not. I'm waiting. Now I'm about to be pissed. Not even listening. You're not even listening right now? Are you serious? You just got it up walking around down there? You got to time. Look, I told everyone you were going to time out Rory for one minute.
How many here can say they watch UFC 1 live? Rory is a spaz. Yeah, he's a weirdo. See how she handles the Liam Machado Gary? She's texting me the name. Jeez, you don't listen at all? Now you're embarrassing me in front of the chat. You were supposed to be there to time out for a minute. Shame on you. I want a divorce. Are you not listening? What are you doing? You too busy fucking around out there? You're supposed to be listening. Joey exposed you. Um. Oh, shit. She just timed out low T MMA for one minute as well. That's what you get. I don't care if they believe it or not. I was just fucking around anyway. Apparently, she's not paying attention anyway, so I'm getting a divorce now. So I'm getting a divorce now. She wasn't listening close enough. She's too busy wandering around, fucking off. Dude, Shabazzian just fucked him up bad. Senor Perfecto. Check Discord. I know, I saw that. Luckily, if she isn't paying attention, I got my side chick watching too, so she's watching at least. So, if she's not paying attention, my side chick's paying attention. Dude, I still can't believe Talbot demolished Cameron Simon. So, looks like looks like I'm going to have to kick her out. So what would you say if you went out of the room and she's watching another MMA YouTuber? I'd probably pull a Jamal Hill and pretend it was my brother. But like, now that's too much betrayal. Damn. I hope they don't jump too quickly to the co -main. I'm going to go piss real quick. I'll be right back, boys. All right, I'm back, boys. I'm back, and I already have my co-main event banner up. You guys could all like the stream. I'd appreciate it, by the way. Oh, they're playing. They're playing some bullshit. They used to keep UFC and Pride VHSs behind the curtain with the porn at my local video store, Monster, Vi Monster Video. 90s, mid-90s. That's funny as hell, dude.
All right, this highly anticipated co-main event. I think Taffa set his brother up. Joey leaving the live for the bathroom every other fight. Hey, man, I drink a lot of water, and it's not really every other fight. When's the last time I went to the bathroom? Like, literally, like, seven fights ago. Let me see this. Oh, the Taffa brothers are bombs. They have no grappling. Yeah, we're done. Jesus Christ. Damn. Yeah. Brother, Both Taffa brothers are bums. Does your fiance train MMA? Yeah, she wears Venom gear. She's got Venom gear right now. She's wearing Venom gear. <laughs> Down by decision, but gone if he takes a nap. Jesus. The highly anticipated co main. What a shit co main, to be hard honest. I wasn't picking Taffa, dude. Because Carl Williams will just shoot nonstop takedowns. Yes, I do, Fries. I just saw your message. I do. You don't get chinned, you win, Carl. Pavlovich could be incredible with the right kind of... Yeah, dude, I, I think he could beat Tom Aspen on a rematch. Dude, Joey's about 295. Are you guessing or you know? Is that what you're saying? you saying as if you know? I'm I'm a good Alistair Overeem overweight, all right? When he first came into the UFC. Joey, I do have a six-pack, legit. I have a legit six-pack. I don't know if I've showed you guys before or what. But I do have a six-pack. Do, 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 do. His brother quit last fight. His brother was just out. Any first fights worth watching? Every fight on the main card so far has been decent. Every fight on the main card has been decent so far. I would watch the entire main card and skip the entire prelims, basically, if you really want to watch something. Most of them are pretty fast, too. They're first or second round finishes. Do, 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 do. I just want to even I just want to even picks tonight boys why is topology not working if I'd have got a couple prelims I could have had a really good night I say Joey's 280 I'm 270 but I'm a little bit shorter I don't know exactly how much I weigh but I'm somewhere between 280 and like 290 Somewhere around there. And I'm slightly under 6'3". Six, 6'5", six, I'm wearing my new balances, though. Missed Houston's bro, what happened? Dog shit fight. So... I'm just on my shirt here. Carl Williams. Dude, I hope Carl Williams better come through for me. I want to get the whole main card right. How many women could you be? Uh, stop. Remember this man is 6'9 in his white new balances. That's sure. Are you stoked for next weekend's main event? I, I think next weekend's main event's good. I think next weekend's main event is good. You're not going to get me on Air Fight Life. Are you confident it's in your Hebos pick to win? I didn't pick Hebos, you dumb fuck. 
You making up shit? Dude, this corny music sucks. Joe makes Francis. Dude, I wish I could meet Francis and get a picture next to him so we could really see the size. I would dwarf Francis. I'd make Francis look like the dude who uh, KO'd Shannon Ross in like two seconds. Christian Aguilar. I would make I would make Francis look like Christian Aguilar. I think it was his name. Jesus Aguilar. I'm a dumbass. If you get them all in the main, I'll parlay your fight picks for next weekend. That's probably not a good idea. I think next week's main event is the best non-title women's MMA fight you can make right now. It's a banger. I think it's a banger. I think it'll get shit on too much. I think it's a good main event. I think it's better. I said earlier, I think it's better than Vicente Luque, Sean Brady. Let's see if Justin Taffa sat, set up his brother. If I stand next to Francis Ngannou, I'll make him look small and I'll make him look like a small chubby guy. I told you, me and Shamil Gazeev. We're body doubles, basically. Imagine I really was 5'11". No, four, forty four, forty five. Go. All right, here we go. Here we go. I think he make you look small and chubby. <laughs> okay. Carl Williams is looking pretty fit right now. Right hand from Carl Williams. Both look stiff as hell, dude. Low level heavyweights in the co main event. Excuse me, I've been burping up a storm on this on this broadcast. Ooh! Taffa landed the left hand, then a combination from Carl Williams lands. Yeah, I got twenty four inch pythons. Good body kick from Taffa. Come on, Carl. Right hand from Carl Williams lands. Surprised Carl Williams hasn't shot it. Right hand from Carl Williams. I'm surprised Carl Williams hasn't shot yet. Dude didn't shoot. Got hurt with a left hand. Carl Williams trying to clinch up. Taffa trying to land on him. Oh, Carl Williams. Easy takedown. Ta the Taffa brothers have no takedown defense, man. He better pray. He better pray he can get up. You better pray he can get up, but he has no grappling. You're, dude, these guys have no fucking wrestling. Taffa brothers have no fucking grappling. Rocked him and then fucking spammed into an easy takedown. Dude, he just they just go down. They fall over like, like they don't have any joints. You notice that? Like, like the Taffa brothers literally fall over from a takedown. Like, there's no bend in their body. He's getting to a hip here. He's getting to a hip. Let's see if he can get up. Like a, a fucking block of wood, man. Oh, big elbow, but that might have caught the back of the head a little bit. Good elbow from Carl Williams. Another one. Taffa looking to get up here. He's trying to get up. He gets to the fence here. He gets to a knee. This isn't good for Carl Williams here. Gets up, but let's see if he can get another takedown. He can power up in the first round, but let's see. He's about to get taken down again. I'm done. Oh, big hammer fist from Carl Williams. Taffa gets to a knee. But after his first couple explosions, pause, he's done. Good uppercut under the armpit. Good ground and pound sh shot up in the armpit of Taffa. And just dragging him back down. Knee him to the body here, bro. I would knee hit the fuck out of his ribs right here. 
Dude's hands are flat on the mat in a knee on a knee. Knee that motherfucker in the ribs, bro. You could break his rib with a perfectly placed knee. Dude, the way he took him down that second time was wild, too. All right, he's back to his feet. I'd fucking kick him in the head right here. Oh, he's about to drag him back down. You're about to hear this octagon. Grabbing the fence. Oh, knee to the body by Williams. Make him take, make him take that fingers out of the fence there. About to ragdoll him back down. Ragdolls him back down. Taffa gets back up, though. Maybe they have a little bit of grappling. Need to, he's trying to fight the grip here. Knee to the asshole. Taffa defending a little bit here. But is he going to get taken down again? Done. Single leg from Williams. He's going to get this. <laughs> the way he went down on his ass, dude. So help me God if Taffa somehow gets a triangle here. They were in a weird position there. Dude, the way he fell on his ass there. The way he fell. Did anybody see that shit? The way he fell on his ass. Dude just planted his ass right on the mat. Body, body, head. Body, body, head. Oh, illegal up kick, Herb. Illegal up kick, Herb. Nasty illegal up kick. And Herbs just keep working. What the fuck, Herb? That's a point deduction. That's a point deduction. Fuck him up, bro. Now you fucking punch him in the back of the head. You get a free foul now, apparently. That was a blatant foul. And Herb is just like, keep working. Keep working. Punch him in the back of the head. And if Herb stops you, you'd be like, what the fuck? He just up kicked me, you dumb motherfucker. That was a filthy up kick. Now he's just smashing him. Just smashing him here against the fence. Illegally knee him. Illegally knee him. You can get away with one free foul. Dumb fuck. I would have kneed him right in his fucking head. I'd be like, well, what the fuck? He just up kicked me illegally. He was in his guard, stacked, and he got nasty up kicked. In his guard. Had him stacked. It was ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There should be a point deduction. There should be a point deduction there. It's ridiculous. Should there not have been a point deduction, boys? I want to see the up kick. Show us the... Let's see. Now, that's ridiculous, dude. You, like, what's the point? Why do we even have rules anymore if we're not going to enforce them? I don't care if he apologized, bro. Body kick from Taffa lands. Taffa with a jab. Carl Williams rushing it. Nope, doesn't stop. I thought he was about to, but he didn't. It wasn't an accident, dude. Good body kick from Taffa. Dude should have pulled an Aljo there. He'd be he'd already be crowned the winner if it was Aljo. Another good body kick from Taffa. Good jab from Williams. Taffa moving forward. Dude, he keeps spamming that body kick. He fainted. He got a big reaction from Carl Williams. Needs to catch that fucking kick. Dude, they both look so bad right now. Right hand from Carl Williams. 
Carl Williams just needs to shoot here. Because he's no threat once you shoot. Ooh, left hand from Taffa. Right hand from Williams misses. They're both so tired already, too. Carl Williams probably just doesn't want to shoot because he's a little bit tired. He's backed up against the fence here. Shoots in on a single leg. He's going to get this with ease. I think he's going to get this. Oh, it's defended. Taffa defends it. Left hook thrown from Taffa. That was defended. I thought he had that. He was deep on the single leg, but ta but Williams is tired. Oh, big left hand from Taffa just barely misses. Dude, he got into the leg so easily. Left hand from Taffa lands. Oh, oh, throws a head kick and gets taken down. What a dumb fuck. What's up, Joey? Love the videos. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate you. Dude threw a head kick. Just a crumpled to the ground. Dead center of the monster logo. Just dead center of the monster logo. Flat on his back. What a dumb, dumb, dumb motherfucker. Which is hilarious, to be quite honest. That's crazy. Williams beating him up with a little ground pound here. Dude said, yeet, let me throw a high kick. Body, body, head. A little pitter-patter ground and pound from Carl Williams, but Taffa has nothing left, man. Hammer fish from Carl Williams. Watch, he's going to upkick you again. Watch out. Watch. Look, just landed a knee to the head on the ground. Taffa trying to set up a triangle. <laughs> Very briefly, dude. Taffa has no cardio. These Taffa brothers have no fucking grappling. And if you had a heavyweight with any fucking cardio, they would sub them. Ooh, good shots underneath the armpit. Got wrist control. Why was this ever scheduled to be the co-fucking main event? Carl Williams moves to half card. Or, yeah, moves to half card. Dude, he's strangling him with the forearm there for a second. He's looking to set up an arm triangle. He's got it. He's got it. He got out. Never mind. Beating up body, 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 body. Dumb fuck through a head kick. Swarming him with shots here. Taffa trying to get up here. But... Williams just grinding him here. Dude, he should be able to finish him here. He's got the Dagestani handcuff here. Oh, he's out of it. Punches to the back of the head, bro. Dude, Taffa just relaxed the whole last bit of the fight. So, Taffa, don't help him up, motherfucker. You're gassed. What are you doing? Williams is dominating him. Dude. Taffa reserved all his energy in that round, so he might be able to get a KO. He never tried to get up in that round, so he's probably fresher. Williams was beating him up. Dude, if Williams gets KO'd in the third round, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Because Taffa just relaxed on his back, laid on his back the whole round. Didn't do shit. Let's see if he throws another head kick. 
Who, whose idea was it to put this in a co-main? I don't think Williams threw a fucking kick. Ooh, Taffa lands a left hand. Big upper hut from Taffa. Williams is in on a takedown. In on a single leg. Whoa, he barely gets up. Big uppercut again from Taffa. Oh, he's in on a takedown again. Clinching to save his life. Taffa using his last bit of energy to get out of here. Williams is hurt. Williams is hurt. Taffa's in on a single leg. He changed his head position here. Taffa had that last bit of energy here. I feel like he's going to get taken down now. Yup, he gets taken down. That's it. Yeah, Taffa used his last bit of energy to do that. He's sitting up against the fence here. Look at the punches to the belly. He's trying to get up here. Carl Williams was hurt there. Now he's going to put him down on the ground on his back again. Carl Williams was hurt bad there. Ate a couple uppercuts. Shut up, Herb. Oh, yeah. Pull them hips out. Pull them hips out, Herb. I mean, Williams. Knee him in the body here, bro. You could fuck him up with a knee to the body here. Why does he knee him to the body? Dude, look at the way Taffa's laying there. Look at the way Taffa's laying there. How is this elite athletes? How is this? Don't you dare stand him up, Herb. Dude, Taffa's just looking at the ref, begging for the ref to save him, and I hate when that happens. Dude's got the Dagestani handcuff now. Now he's got the Dagestani handcuff here. Throw big shots now. Dude, Taffa was just looking at Herb like, Herb, save me. I have no grappling, Herb. Pick stand us up. Please, Herb. I'm not even going to try. That's crazy. The way he was sitting there. That's wild. Dude was just laying there. <laughs> sack of potatoes, bro. Dude was just laying there like a sack of shit. Oh, he gets to his knees. He's decided I'm going to try something now. Knee him to the body, Williams. Knee him to the body. You have wide open rib shots. Pause. Dude, he could break. Thank you. He could literally break his ribs with knees here. Williams just... Hanging over top of him here. Kick that leg out from underneath of him. Come on, Carl Williams. I picked you by decision, bro. I need you to win now. Don't fuck up in the last round. Knees to the ribs. Good. Knees to the thighs, actually. His thighs blocking. Williams is throwing some shots. Taffa gets back to his feet now. He's trying to dig an underhook, but he's exhausted, man. He's calling his way back into... Dude's grabbing the fence. Taff is grabbing the fence, too. Dude, Williams, take him back down and stop complaining, bro. Williams fucked up. He was too busy complaining to Herb. Knee him in the head here. Good knee by Carl Williams. He gets back up. Carl Williams is exhausted. That's why he was complaining himself. Williams looking for a takedown. Gets stuffed. Carl Williams is completely gassed, bro. He backed up and looked at the clock. In on a single leg. They're both gassed, though. Another single leg. He get... Dude, what, what is Taffa doing? Pulling a guillotine? What the fuck was he doing there? It was looking like he was trying to pull a guillotine there. Taffa's just laying there like a fucking blob right now. Look at him. He's like... <laughs> no, nah, that's funny as hell, dude. Taffa was just like... <laughs> Dude, this was co-main event. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. Dude, Williams was completely gassed on the feet, too. That's funny, bro. That's actually funny. <laughs> Look, he's laying there like a dead body. He's like this. He's like this. Taffa was laying there like this. That's funny as hell, bro. Dude, I would sleep both these clowns. Easy win for me. Put me in there, Dana. I 
the thing is, I'm laughing at these guys. And I know people are like, oh, look at you, blah, blah, blah. How can you make fun of these? Their job, their full-time job is elite-level athlete, supposedly. <laughs> Yo, that was funny as fuck. That is funny as fuck. The way Taffa was just laying there like a sack of shit. That shit was funny. No fucking way. Dude, he got the bike tattooed. I'm done. Dude got the bike tattooed. I'm fucking done. Go check. Go check. Uh, Oh, someone already posted it. I'm done. I would beat Taffa. I would. Look, I got more cardio than Taffa. I'm going to just chill here. Is that cool? I'm, did that look like two elite athletes to you? Someone gave a round of... Yeah. Carl Williams. Come on, boys. Main card sweep. Main card sweep. He said, I want to stand up and strike with him. A lot of heavy hitters out there. I'm convinced all Taffa does is drink all day and spar. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> he said, I want to fight Stipe. He's working at the firehouse. <laughs> Call the fire department, Carl Williams. Call the fire department. Oh, never mind. I thought he said he wanted to fight him. He said they're going to barbecue together. That ruins it for me. I thought he was trying to fight him. He said, yo, he's working at the fire department. He said, we're trying to barbecue for the fire department. I'm done. Dude ruined it, kind of. I thought he wanted to fight Stipe. He said, let me get a call out. Does he still want to fight him or are he just trying to barbecue? He said, I got a fucking call. I'm done. The BBQ cook off stream. Dude said, dude, if he would have said, I want to fight your ass. I'm tired of you working at the fire department, answering the fucking phones. Not fighting anyone. Four forty five. Twenty five. versus Nama Yunus. 445, 25. I don't know. 
For a second, I thought Swerve was low-key a fan of the channel. Dude, I was about to die. If he said something about answering phones at the fire department, I would have thought for sure. Carl Williams is watching the channel, bro. Joey might be a second fan. Damn, dude was about to say. I was about to say, call the motherfucking fire department. Carl Williams my favorite fighter. I got quite a resume. Quite a resume. Quite a resume. Quite a resume. By the way, boys, I, I, I never wanted to admit this on stream, but I, I was going to save this story for another time, but I might as well tell it now. DC and Chell are the ultimate fucking casuals. Are the ultimate casuals. I cl I got recommended the ESPN video, right, about Connor, and I was wondering what they were saying about it. And I sat it next to my bed, and I was listening to it for a second. And they don't know shit about it. They don't know shit about it, right? It goes on to them talking about Rose versus uh, Hebas. And... It was on my side table, so I didn't turn it off right away. And they were talking about how Rose moved... Chael was saying Rose moved de back down... to f Move down to flyweight. Because she's trying to get another opportunity at Wei Li Zhang. She wants the Wei Li Zhang trilogy. And DC was like co-signing the shit too. They didn't even know what weight class the fight was taken at. They didn't know what weight class was going on they were like he boss has that been at blah 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 and they were saying some other shit too i don't remember exactly what they said but it was crazy dude can i get a main card sweep to save the day but they were talking as if they knew they were hyping it up they were saying oh yeah she's going to look for a. she's she, she's she's looking to earn the third shot at Li Zhang. they want the strawway titles yeah it was horrible i couldn't believe i suffered through it that's why i didn't even want to admit it I have three picks right tonight. I listened to the good guy and the bad guy. Bro called Stipe to a cook-off. He said, you be, you be chilling at the fire department. Hebos has the worst fucking striking ever. They act like they know, yeah, and the people at ESPN don't know. That they're fucking frauds. I'm just going to start, hey, sh should I just start watching the good guy and the bad guy? And then every week I do like a 30-minute video on all the wrong shit that they say and point out how much of casuals they are. Imagine that series. It would kill me, but imagine that series. Imagine me going through listening to that Howard episode every week, taking down timestamps, and pointing out all the dumb shit they say. Dude said, I got a fucking bit bonus. It should be bite bonus. He missed the E. What is this walkout song? Sounds like waiting song. Waiting music. What the fuck is this elevator waiting music? Is this somebody's walkout? Pat Barry has ruined Rose Nama Eunice's career so badly she's walking out at the UFC apex to literal elevator music screaming I'm the best I'm the best. Pat, Pat Barry has ruined Rose's Namunis, ruined Rose Namunis' career so badly she's walking out of the UFC Apex to literal elevator music screaming, I'm the best. I'm telling you, dude, Rose and Pat Barry are like Rose and Joshua Fabia.
I'm the best. Pat Barry's always been a fucking weirdo. Apparently she doesn't train with Trevor Whitman anymore from what I understand. I don't know that. Actually, I don't know that. She doesn't come with Trevor. She's fighting in the wrong, wrong weight class with the wrong coach. They're a two-person cult. Doesn't shock me, bro. I bet you if you were literally around them, you'd be like, damn, they're fu this is fucked up. She keeps, dude, there's something broken with Rose. I wish I wouldn't even pick her, dude. Say, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Pa, I'm the best. <laughs> so, Pat Barry would be like, nah. Now, he boss is coming out to fucking some. Look at this shit. <laughs> what is going on right now? I'm done. What is this weird walkout? What is this walkout music for both of them? Whoa, pause. <laughs> These walkouts are the highlight of the car. I'm the best. She a dog. So... What the fuck we got going on here? He boss is a bum. <sighs> Turn off the stream in the card. He boss has the worst striking known to man. What was that walkout? I still can't believe Rose walked out with elevator music. She manifested the moment. Blanchfield schools fewer next week. We'll say it's going to be interesting, man. All right, time for the main event, boys. All right, main event time. Is Rose the best? I have no idea, dude. Make some noise if you are ready. All right. They're announcing Rose.
She's still saying I'm the best, dude. She's fucking mentally gone. She looks like she's aged 70 years as well. All right. <sighs> All right, here we go. Oh, did I change my graphic? I did not. Let's go. Okay. Come out ready to fight. I pick Rose by TKO, third round, but we'll see if she's mentally there. Damn it, I got my... Here we go, Jason Herzog's the ref, so we don't have to worry about... Let me stop right then there. He boss does look bigger. He bust does nothing but punch air typically though, so we'll see if she actually can land any shots ever. Punches air, fainting at air, moving and fainting at air, lands a kick in the air. Nothing but a right hand at air. Right hand at air, left hand at air. Right hand from Rose lands. Head kick at air, maybe touches the hand actually. But mainly air. Left hand from Rose, easy work. Left hand to the body from Rose. He boss still fainting and punching air because she has garbage striking. Punching more air. More punching at air. Fainting at air. Right hand at air. May waste all her energy throwing punches at air. Lands an inside leg kick. Eats a left hand from Rose. I mean, look how much wasted fucking energy just punching air she does. It's so annoying. Like three jabs to the air. Spinning wheel kick basically to the air. He boss clinches up. Right hand lands for He boss for a change. Want a break from like kind of a clinch. Leg kick from Hebas lands. Leg kick from Rose in return. Combination from Rose misses. Hebas fainting some more. Left hand from Rose. Hebas throws combinations. Wild winging shots that miss and land on nothing. Front kick from Hebas to air. Jab from Rose. Right hand blocked by Rose. Left hand to the air for Hebas. Twelve thirty already. This feels like a pay per view tonight, in terms of timing. Ooh, left hand from Hebas. Spinning kick to the body by Hebas. Flying knee to air. Right hand, left hand to air. Dude, Hebas does nothing but throw shots at the air. Hebas gets a takedown. Rose already gets to her knees. Is scrambling back to her feet. She's back to her feet. Knees to the body from Rose. Rose with under an underhook pushes Hebas to the fence, but Hebas reverses position. Rose is about to exit here out of this clinch. Knee to the body from Rose. Hebas trying to hold on to this clinch. Rose landing good knees to the body here. Another good knee to the body from, from, from Rose. Another good knee to the body by Rose. Now she's trying to exit. Another knee to the body by Rose. Hebas keeps holding on to her and she's not throwing anything back. She's getting knee to the body. And they're finally about to break and they break. <laughs> Hebas needs to work on her depth perception for sure and her distance management. Dude, I can't believe people act like Hebas is good. She throws at nothing but air. I've been talking about this for ages. I picked against her against uh, Pinero, and I was almost right. Right hand to the air by Hebas. I would love to know how many shots Hebas doesn't land. Right hand. Oh, left hand. Right hand landed for Hebas. Left hand landed for Rose. Good stinging left hand from Rose. Oh, she punches the forearm this time. Left hand for Rose lands. Hebas tries to get a takedown. Looks for a head and arm throw. Rose already to her knees. Rose scrambles out, ends up on top because Hebas is an absolute garbage can. She went for a head and arm throw. Literally got reversed, rolled over, used the momentum. Hebas is now on top of her. Or Hebas is on bottom, I mean. 
mean. My commentary is mean. I'm just telling you what's happening, bro. What's mean about it? They're in the dead center of the cage. Good elbow from Rose on top. Can't watch this garbage. I'm turning on Roadhouse. Yeah. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ground and pound from Rose. Elbow from Rose. Elbow from Rose. Elbow from Rose. But short, very short elbows. Good ground and pound shots from Rose. Hibas is really confused here. She can't punch air when she has someone with chest pressure on her. She's like, how do I punch air from this position? They're like, mess up her breathing. Mess up her breathing. Cover her mouth. Cover her mouth. Don't poke her eye, dumbass. Smother her. Smother her. Smother her. Hold your breath, Rose. Because if you hold your breath, she won't come anywhere close to your mouth. Because that's all she does is punch air. Kibos versus Waterson would be a barn burner. Have they fought before? They both do nothing but hit air. Yeah, Rose won first round. Good some good some good ground and pound from Rose to end the round. No more commercials. Keep that motion. Keep that motion, Rose. You're the best, bro. She's swinging in air. Keep letting her swing in air. I'm done. That's all she's doing. Pat Mary with actually decent corner advice. My fucking nose is itching like crazy right now. Brought it to the body. Brought it to the body. Who raised their hands after the round? I went to take a note. Was it he boss? He boss thinks she's good. And people act like she's good too. But she does nothing but punch it air and it drives me nuts. Oh, we got two of five. Head kick to air. Well, lands on the forearms actually. I'm lying. Left hand lands for Rose. I already seen the first round. Let's see. Let's see what happens here, boys. Body kick actually lands for Hibas. Jab from Hibas. Ooh, right hand for Rose. Rose is just landing easily. Look at leg kick from Hibas. Right hand from Rose. Rose must have got tagged with something on the left side of her face because she's a little bit swollen there. Maybe a right hand. Left hand from Rose lands. Look like Hebus was about to spin there. Punching an air from Hebus. Just oh my god, just spamming air. Spinning back kick to the body by Hebus doesn't really land all too clean. Right hand. Right hand from Hebus. She's just standing squared up with her right now, kind of. Dude, they got to act like this is crazy competitive right now. They're like technically analyzing it as Rose just pieces her with her right hand on the chin. Uppercut from Rose, a little shuffle punch. More air shots from Hibas. I mean, when she trains, does she even hit the heavy bag? Or she just punch the air next to it? I mean, there's so many shots she's missing, I can't even commentate them all. He boss landed inside leg kick there while I was scratching my nose. My nose is itching like crazy right now. Right hand from Rose. I just imagine she hangs up the heavy bag and just punches right next to it. 
So yeah, I don't want to actually connect with anything. Right hand misses for Ebos. Bros, easy takedown. Hebos gets right back to her feet. Oh, nice knee on the way up from Hebos. They said first takedown of the fight. Oh, I guess Rose's first takedown of the fight. <laughs> right hand from Rose. Hebos looks for a head and arm throw. Now she rolls into a knee bar here. Rose is out. The knee's past the butt. Now Rose is in on the... Oh. He boss looks for another toss and ends up on bottom here because she's a bum. She keeps trying these judo throws. I'm done. Felder says Rose is just too tight. I'm the best. Get her, Rose. Get her, Rose. Get her. Just little touches. Damn. If this is how Rose is fighting, man, I think she's regressed. I thought she would do better. Nothing's really happening right now. Just Rose laying on top of her. A little bit of ground and pound to the body from Rose. Body, 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 body. Now, now uh, Hebos got closed guard from bottom. Little peppers, little peppers. You're the best, Rose. She's beating up her body here. This is Rose Round. It's close enough on the feet, but. Damn, man. What a shit second round. What a shit second round. Okay. Ten nine rows. Why Rebus acting like she won with three rounds left? Did she do it again? Let me rewind it. Is she getting up every round and doing that? Let me say. Yeah, what the fuck is Hebus doing, bro? I saw it, I just rewind it. I just saw it again. Hebus sucks. I don't think Rose even wants to be in there. Pat Barry's forcing her. He bought landed more damage from the elbows than the bottom, to be honest. Not really. But she got tagged with bigger shots on the feet anyway. Wish this was a three-rounder like Connor wants. Jab from He Boss misses. Ooh, nice right hand from Rose. Just tagged her right on the chin. If he boss acts like she gets robbed after this performance, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Head kick attempt from he boss Misses. Almost gets taken down. Three round main event would be shit, man. I think he's going to get it, though. Spinning heel kick from he boss. Hits air again. Surprise, surprise. Right hand from Rose. Dude, Rose is tagging her. Kicks, stumbles Rose, kind of, but it didn't really land. It just caught her off balance. 
Rose has just landed the better shots for sure. Good body kick and then left hand from Rose. Landed left hand and stumbled Hibas. Hibas sucks. But she has no business ever being in a fucking main event, ever. Big right hand from Rose. I pick Rose by third round TKO, so hopefully she actually finishes her this round. But I don't know if Rose has the power. Good leg kick from Hibas. Left hand from Rose partially lands. She's looking to spin again, but she's not going to come close. Another kick from Hibas misses. <laughs> Damn, boys. Hibas is clinching up. Watch her look for another head and arm toss. And end up on bottom with a low IQ if she doesn't. Spinning back fist. Misses from Hibas. Oh, left hand for Rose as Hibas stumbles in sloppily, shooting at air. I wish this was a three rounder. My ear's starting to itch. I couldn't imagine doing real commentary on this. I wouldn't be able to act like this was good. Excuse me. Right hand lands for Hibas. Spinning back kick to the body lands for Hibas. That's a rarity. Not hitting air. Rose throws two shots that lands on air right there. The fact that Hibas is ranked number eight is a complete catastrophe. Oh, Hibas looks for another takedown. She gets it this time. See if Rose reverses her. Rose is already out to a hip. And gets her down. DDT from Hebos. There was a DDT from Hebos there. And they're back to their feet. Do straight DDT her. I'm disappointed in this main event as well. From the second it was fucking announced. This is what happens when you have stacked 299 300. So I'm not going to complain too much. Entire main card was good. Hebos looks for another takedown. Has her down. She's got the headlock takedown again. She's landed some shots here. But Rose is going to sneak out and take her back. Hebos is trying to end up on top. Hebos ends up on top here. Right, I missed great fights. Yeah, the whole main card was actually really good. I'd rewatch the main card if you're missing something. Hebas is on top now. This Hebas might get this round actually. Big elbows from Hebas here. Actually doing damage on the ground here. Looking to set up a choke with 20 seconds left. Good shots from Hebas here. Smashing her here a little bit. Oh, now she takes her back. That's that's Hebas's round. Let's see if she does the same shit again. She does it again. She's doing it every fucking round, dude. I'm telling you, they're telling fighters to do that shit now to sway the judges because the judges are so bad. Keep touching the pinkies, Rose. Joe, I went for a piss break and came back. She was getting smashed. Why would you take the back with 10 seconds when you can just rain down? I don't know, dude. 
Rose was actually smashing her on the feet early in that round. So you know she's going to try to grapple. If you guys could like the stream, I would appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys run up the likes on the stream. Round four. Oh, let's see what happens. He boss is definitely going to be looking for an early takedown here. Namius is still the favorite, I guess. They said the first two rounds were close. Nice left hand from Rose. Dude, shut the fuck up, Felder. He boss has not landed like one good strike on the feet. They never really landed super hard. Like one of them landed good. Left hand from Rose snaps so he boss his head back with bad camera angle. Right hand lands for Hibas. It's a very close fight according to the commentary. No. Well, I guess it is in a way because we still got two rounds, three rounds, whole rounds left basically. Some motherfucker said 30-27 Hibas. I just seen a motherfucker on the screen said 30-27 Hibas. What the fuck? Somebody said he bossed 3027. She's putting on a clinic. What the fuck? What the hell are they watching, bro? That was a leg kick from he boss. That's wild. Rose landed better shots in this round, too. He just watched Hebos get up off the ground in the last first two rounds. This is a clinic. Nice jab from Rose. Leg kick from Hebos. Hebos is landing some leg kicks now. Rose is still piecing her up on the feet. Leg kicks from Hebos and landing. Head kick misses for Hebos. Right hand from Rose. Rose looks for a takedown. He boss looks to kind of scramble out. Rose in her guard now. But there's a weird leg position for He boss. Maybe setting up a triangle here. Yeah, He boss putting on a clinic. When's your next striking seminar? So I can learn how to punch at fucking air. You have three, ten, eight rounds? Yeah, me too. What a shit fight, by the way. Dude, imagine having Pat Barry in your corner. Dude, if Rose doesn't do anything here, she's going to lose this round because Hebos just throwing elbows from the bottom. Rose was winning on the feet, but she... Okay, she, now she's starting to throw some body shots here. So they're both just trading body shots here. Yeah, he had to be trolling. There's no way that was a serious shit. So Rose is going to win this round now. So now Hebos is going to need a finish. Rose is just chilling in her guard. Hebos has got her guard closed. And uh, Rose just kind of landing little baby shots here. Rose is washed. Just lays there, yeah. She's not losing, though. She's just throwing ground and pound to the body. Yeah, Rose is going to win this round. Thank you, Herzog. Work to finish fights. Rose just laying in her guard. Rose, just little body shots here. Oh, no. He boss looking to lock up a triangle here, but I don't think she's going to get it. Rose goes back through. Damn, Rose is washed. 
Rose used to be good. I thought she would wash Ebus. So Rose wins that round. Clearly. Dude, I can't believe, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, someone responded to that 3027. Uh, Heboss said you hitting the crack pipe a little early. Someone said the only explanation is you don't know which one Heboss is. That's funny. Dude, Pat Barry is the worst cornerman known to man. <laughs> Keep dribbling, Rose. Touch your pinkies, Rose. Rose, you gotta touch your pinkies. Ooh, good body kick by Hebas. Thank you for the 199. Another high level fight from the top eight in the world. Thank you, Kay, for the 199. I appreciate you. This is a barn burner, man. Good body shot from Hebas. Left hand from Rose. Dude said hitting the crack pipe a little early. The only excuse to this, I'm saying that in my post fight video. <laughs> the only excuse is you don't know which one he bosses <laughs> right hand from Rose snaps her head back Rose is getting the better of every striking exchange for the most part Rose lands her right hand but I'm convinced Rose is washed up too he boss has no fight IQ when she punches air the entire time Spinning back fist in the air. <laughs> Dude, He Boss beats the shit out of the air. He Boss is role playing. She's Jamal Hill and the air is her, his brother. <laughs> Thug Rose. I'm waiting to end up on these on the air with these tweets at some point in time. Keep dribbling, Rose. Keep touching those pinky, Rose. Three minutes and a half left. Keep touching those pinkies, Rose. Keep keep dribbling. A spinning back kick to the air from Hebos. Right hand to air from Hebos. That might actually touch her a little bit. Dude said 3-0, Hebos. Nice shot to the body from Hebus. Dude, this fight is close enough where it wouldn't shock me if the judges fuck it up. I don't think they will. Hebus looking for a takedown. Knees to the body from Rose. Keep dribbling, Rose! Spinning back kick to the body from Rose misses. Or partially lands. I wonder how many significant strikes against Air Hebus has as well. He bosses when I hope you're kidding, actual Australian. I hope you're kidding. This is shit. Spinning heel kick lands on the hand of Rose, and everyone goes wild in the crowd. Head kick from He Boss misses. Right hand from Rose. If he boss wins, it's a brutal robbery. I'm telling you right now. It doesn't matter what happens in this round. Unless it's a 10-8 round. Right hand lands for he boss. Body kick from Rose. 
She's definitely hitting a lot of air. Yeah, that she is, Paul. I concur, Paul Felder. What a chess match. Rose shoots on an ugly-ass takedown. Knee to the body. Rose is washed up. I'm calling it right now. She's washed up, even though she's winning. Neither have any fight IQ. Neither have any. They don't even want to be there. Rose is now punching air, too. The walkouts were more... These are two highly skilled... The striking is not close. In this round it is. But Rose clearly landed all the better shots on the feet in every other round I gave her. First, second, and fourth. Big hit right hand from Rose. So, Rose doesn't want to be there anymore. She's trying to escape Pat Barry's grasp. She wants a divorce. Australian, I'm pretty sure you must be in toxic. You're hitting a crack pipe. Are you sure you know Hebos is the one in the yellow? He bosses the one in the yellow, bro. He bosses one in this fifth round, though. Right hand from He boss. Leg kick from Rose. He boss wins the fifth round. I think she was just more, a little bit more active. Rose didn't land shit. Rose was punching in air. I'm the best. I'm the best. That was a shit fight. What a shit fight. I'm the best. What a garbage fight, by the way. Should be 3 2. Rose. Should be 3 2, Rose. And honestly, fifth round was so garbage, you never know. He boss thinks she won, genuinely. So does Rose. So we're going to say 50 45, He Boss. He Boss thinks she won. They're taking forever to get the scorecards. Oh, no. They're, they're queuing up a robbery. Rose is washed, though. I'm convinced Rose is completely washed. So. There's no way this is split decision. Forty nine for yeah, there you go. Forty eight. Alright, I thought they were about to fuck that up. But I think I think Kibos could take five though. 48-47 was the right scorecard, in my opinion. She's checked out. I knew she was always throwing that left kick. Rebus, he bust did not win three rounds. You're smoking crack, dude.
was worried Thug would get robbed. I thought it was close enough where she could get robbed. What do you want, Nat? You did, didn't you? You're not getting a rematch. But match her up against Macy. I like that. It was a war. I swept the main card. That's all that matters, boys. The prelims might have did me dirty, but I swept the main card. Vince. Vince, you're smoking dick. But send the comparisons for the picks. I want to see what the picks look like. And I got robbed on a pick earlier. Rendon should have won. And honestly, Usman should have won too. Nah, I'm exaggerating on the Usman one. It wasn't a robbery. Fiore's going to get a title shot if she wins. Anybody who thinks T-Boss won that fight, you're not watching. You're smoking crack. You're smoking crack. Um, Everyone gave round one to Rose. Somebody gave round two to T-Boss. Round three to T-Boss is the one round that I gave to T-Boss. All three judges gave round three to T-Boss. Round four and round five both went to Rose. So the one judge, Saul D'Amato, had two and three for Hibas. Rose, dude, ignore all the grappling. Ignore all the grappling. Rose landed the better shots on the feet. The grappling didn't matter. It never really came into play. So, ignore all the grappling. I hate when people say that. Oh, well, the grappling doesn't matter. There was no damage. It doesn't matter because she landed the better shots on the feet. I genuinely think you're trolling, dude. Round three and five is the only rounds you can give to Hebas. I got a fucking bit bonus. It should be bite bonus, you dumb fuck. Good night from Vegas. Yeah, good night. You can put me to sleep in that last fucking fight. I really don't believe that anyone actually thinks he boss won that fight. I, I, I refuse to believe that. So, it's not about the grappling, dude. Rose beat her up on the feet. Landed better shots on the feet in every single fucking round, except round five. So... That shit was crazy. Yeah, three and five go to go to Hibas. Three and five go to Hibas, but that's early it. Who are your favorite active women fighters? Wei Li Zhang. Rose used to be one of them, but she's garbage. She's washed up. She's completely washed up. I mean, I don't. I think it was very clear that Rose won. It was a garbage fight, but I think it was very clear that Rose won. I'm going to go piss real quick and I'm going to hang out for a bit before I end the stream.
Yeah. All right. I'm back, boys. I can't believe anyone's complaining about that. All right. I'm off. You want good picks for the next? I will be on Joey streamers and give my picks. Fair enough. It was just a garbage fight overall. I can't believe that many people are pressed about it. Nothing matches the excitement of Fight Night picks. <laughs> fight, night, fight Nights at the Apex, I mean. What's the comparison, Vincent? What's the comparisons? Let's see. Don't forget 6-7, actual A. Just want to get to 300. I know. I know, bro. I know. Just want to get to UFC 300. I can't believe this dude got a dumbass tattoo. The fight was boring as hell. You think Rose isn't good for real? I think she's kind of washed up a little bit. The best performance of the night was Talbot. The best performance of the night was Talbot. For show. For show. I'm clowning around. I hate the Apex without the... I know what you meant, dude. It was sarcasm. Is anyone else pissed everyone's hyping up this tattoo? And he didn't even put the E? Like, how did nobody see that? Dude didn't even put the E. I got a... It should have been I got a bite night bonus. Let's see. Let's see how I did. I got fucked on the Daria Zaleznikova Kova Lezez Zaleznikova Zaleznikova Zalez I don't remember how to pronounce. I got robbed on that one. Let's see. Wrong. 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 You fucking up, bro. Vince, you fucked up. Let's see. I got Usman wrong. I got Rendon wrong. I got Newt. I got Wynn wrong. I got Gibson wrong. I got Hamos wrong. I got Hollyball wrong. And I got everything else right. So that's six right. Then the next column... For the other guy, this is the yellow one. Wrong. 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 Yeah, you fucked up, bro. You fucked up. You count it wrong. The first two, I'm not mentioning names here. First two should be six and 13. For all three. Well, I don't know. I haven't checked this one. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Dude, you fucking up, Vincent. You fucking up. Recount those picks, bro. You re recount those picks. Because let's see. So column one, I'm right. Six out of 13 is right, I think. Let me double check that again. I'm talking about other people you got fucked up. I'm I'm checking I'm checking your math. Yeah, I got six. No, wait a second. Why isn't my picks page opening up? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I got seven right. I got seven right. The guy directly next to me got one right, two right. Three right, four right, five right, six right. The guy next to me got six, six right. So you got me six out of 13. I'm seven out of 13. The guy next to me got six out of 13. Then the last guy, right, 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 right. The guy last got five. You, you didn't get a single one right. The last guy got five out of 13. And then the middle one, one, 
two, three, four. And then the guy in the green only got four. Every every single column is wrong, bro. Damn, I can't look at this shit anymore. Every single column is wrong. Every single column is wrong, bro. Dead ass. Every single column is wrong. I got seven. The next guy next to me got six. The next guy next to me got four. And the next guy next to me got five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So there you go. It should be seven, six, four, five. Every single column is wrong, dude. Update that shit and send it back. That's fucking wild. Dude's tracking picks. Dude's tracking picks and giving me the wrong number. And I thought it was right because Tapology didn't update for a second. I'm going to have to check every single one now. I never checked the math before. That's the first time I ever checked the math. I thought something seemed fishy. I thought I had a decent night. Update that shit. Don't you delete it either. Don't you delete it. Update that shit. Yeah, it should be 7, 6, 4, and 5. 7, 6, 4, and 5 with me on top. You fucking me raw, bro. Now I got to check the previous week. And I don't remember my picks. That's wild, bro. You did me dirty. You trying to make me have a shitty percentage. That's that's really fucked up. Yeah, I got four on the last card and then eight on the previous card. I'm not, I can't check everyone. You fucking me raw, bro. <laughs> he's Dude, he's tracking picks. He's tracking picks. He's got a Google chart, right? And he's tracking YouTuber picks. And he sends it to me to confirm my picks. I look at the math. He posts the final results. He's got me short a pick. He's got the next guy an extra pick. He's got the next guy. He's got everyone else one extra pick right. I got one pick extra wrong. Dude set me up for failure. Dude set, dude's raw dogging me right now. I mean, is that not bullshit? He's tracking four YouTubers. He gives me one pick under. He gives all them an extra pick. I can't even trust this shit anymore. I don't even want to see it anymore, Vince. I can't believe this shit. That's wild, bro. I, I thought I was fucking up in my head. I was reading the shit. I'm like, am I doing that? Like, I kept checking it over and over again. I'm like, wait a second. I checked topology. So, third guy is not right, bro. Right. The third guy got four picks right. The third guy got three, four picks right. Billy Q and Luis Pajalo is wrong. It should be four out of six. Uh, what the fuck, dude? Third guy is not right. It should be four out of six. Double check, dude. You must have been counting Padilla wrong for me. I picked Padilla. Everyone else picked Pajalo. So that's where your fuck up is, I think. Dude's doing me straight dirty. I'm like, damn, I'm a, I got last in picks. Check it again, bro. Check it again. Every single one of them is wrong. Should be seven, six, four, five. Hold on, wait. Let me make sure I got that right. It should be seven right, six right, four right, five right is what it should be. I can't go through it anymore. I broke it down for you. I easily checked the picks. You you just you just raw dogging me hard, bro. Embarrassing me. Embarrass me. I'm like, damn, dude, I got the worst of all the YouTubers you tracking. And then come to find out, come to find out, you you raw dog me of a pick. I'm done, dude. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news, bro. Fake news. I'm breaking this shit down for you. Yeah, I, I saw what it was. I told you what it was. You should have trusted me, dude. I, I'm, I'm a mathematician. Don't you know that? I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics, all right? You don't trust me to count some picks, right? What's weird is Tapology didn't update right away. My Tapology still hasn't updated. So, dudes out here putting out fake news, making me look like a bum when I should be the champion. Making me look like a bum. Would you bite Jamal Hill if you saw him on the street? No, I'd knock his teeth down his throat. But like, how you like that, Brother. That's what I do. I'd be like, clean my fucking house, brother. Did Tybora do enough to take the worst hairline in over Neil Magny? Yes. 
How many times do you think Chandler's watched Roadhouse? He's definitely watched the nude scene a couple times. I haven't seen it, but I've I've heard about it. So. Damn, Jamie Varner shitting on Sanko. Vince, what's going on here? Vince. Vince Din. I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for you to redact, okay? And I'm waiting for you to publish the proper info, okay? You smeared my name, you slandered me in my own Discord. You made me look like a fucking fool. You made me look like a fool. All right? What a dumb fuck. Sanko is legit better than Rogan. Chandler has Dom's picture. There we go. We got the redacted version. We got the we got the redact or we got the corrected version. He redacted the old one. Complete embarrassment of tracking. <laughs> I'll check the winners list of each card. Dude fucked up. I'm glad I saw that shit, dude. I'm glad I saw that, dude. You did me dirty. Pat Matthews, why are you big mad right now? Calm down. Oh, yeah, man. I'm just chilling. I'm just tired of being made out to be a fool. Redacted, published, reverse slander, everything. <laughs> dude, you slandered me hard in my own cord. In my own fucking Discord, you're slandering me. Making me out to be a fucking fool. Making me out to be a fool. I thought I did decent. I had a good recovery on picks. Um, so, yep, yeah, how's, when are you going to go watch Roadhouse? I'm probably never going to watch Roadhouse, dude, the trailer looks so bad, I don't, I just don't care, go watch it. So the card wasn't that bad. The main card was solid. The main card was solid. Dude, Jamie Varner's a dumb fuck. He's out there slandering Sanko. So, what's your setup? I want to start an MMA channel. Shore SM7B, Sony A6400. Boom. That's what I have. Camera and mic. They should have Connor star in a remake of Bloodsport. I've never even seen it, to be quite honest. I'm still recovering from the fact. I thought Vince was like one of my boys. My dude's been a member for a while. I thought he fucked with me, and he's making me look bad. He's trying to embarrass me. He's trying to deeply embarrass me. And it's just, it's just really not, the, it's just not the way I ride. It's just not the way I ride. Let's see if my video's picking back up. Listen, boys, I need you to watch my video about Conor McGregor caught tweaking in disastrous interview. It's heading towards 100K. I would love for it to get 100K. It's still climbing. It's slowed down for the fights, but it appears like it's picking back up again. It's at 84,000 right now. Let's see what it says on my actual YouTube channel. It says 82,000, but it has 84,000 actually. So, we don't fuck with Vincent now, Mo. Yeah, dude did me dirty. Dude did me straight up filthy McNasty. Raw dog me hard. I watch it twice. Does Connor go to rehab or fight first? I'm gonna say he never goes to rehab. I'm beginning to think he's never fighting again. 
Gonna be the Hunter K view on it. Watch it until it's close. Okay. Do it. Do it. So, we'll see what happens. I'm done. So, ah, <laughs> oh, man. What a night. I started off with the worst picks known to man, only to recover on the main card and sweep the main card. And my topology is still not updating. What the fuck? You can't do drinks and drink like that. If it's a raid, thanks for the raid. I know you don't do shorts. It seems like they're good for views and gaming new subs. Why not? I don't fuck with shorts, dude. I just don't fuck with shorts at all. Ever. I don't like them. I don't want to edit them. I don't want to get them. I don't want to do them. Maybe one day. But it's just, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it picks up as many subs. And if you do, those people don't watch. If that makes sense. Can you take ads off during campaign? I thought I had ads off. I do. I have ads off. Occasionally one will pop up, but it should for the majority be off. They would help your channel grow. But yeah, I don't think those people will watch the long form content. And that's what I need. So I don't know if it would actually help. I need to start po posting more um, reels on Instagram, though. I think that would help. Nah, Joey, numbers don't lie. Shorts help. Every Everything I've ever read is like, it's not worth it. I've listened to legit people who know what the fuck they're talking about in YouTube, and, and shorts aren't good for what I'm doing. So... I've heard that from every reliable source. Basically, shorts can convert subscribers, but those subscribers aren't going to watch long-term content. Long-form content. And I'm not into short-form content. I'm not a fucking 12-year-old, okay? Let's get 30K before 300. That'd be crazy. They make TikToks of complete trash, but in the summer, it pays off. We're already at 19K, Jack. Have you even been watching the fucking stream? Damn, dude. So... All right, we got we got some fucking weirdo in the chat saying weird shit, so we'll just get rid of him. Gone. You make way more views on shorts just for pay per view events. Yeah, but is there even there's I don't even know if there's ad revenue on that anyway. Dude, I don't refresh mid pleasure. I've been experiencing ads like crazy of late while watching live streams. I literally looked at it and it's off right now. And it's literally off right now. So. When you get to like 200, you're going to act like an asshole and act like you don't know anyone? No. But I'm just, at the end of the day, I'm just doing this for fun. All right? This is a cool hobby to make some extra money. It's starting to pick up some steam. And it is what it is. That's it. It is what it is. I'm going to keep doing I'm going to keep being exactly who I am. So, Joe, do you use OBS? Yes. Peyton Talbot's going to get hyped up and go out like Benoit or Jan. Yan. Who are you talking about, Yan? You haven't had an ad just saying in general? If I click here, it says it doesn't add. But I don't do that. Like maybe on like a rare occasion I might. Because it'll pop up with like a little notification and say do it. So sometimes I'll just do it. But very rarely. Like I've done it. That's the first time I've done it. So... Joey does trainees a black belt in every form. I do. I have another. I have other sources of income, multiple. So, I'm good, man. That's why. That's why I don't care. I don't need to show for the UFC. I don't need to show for certain fighters. I do what the fuck I want, and I'll build an audience that that genuinely wants independent media. So, that's it. So. Imagine as he goes out there and puts out DDP the same way Talbot just did. Oh my god, dude. I think if I ask you a question later in Discord, you can help me out. Yeah, about OBS, yes. You just got an ad. I didn't click anything. I'm looking at Twitter. What's your question, though? Just give me a hint. Just give me a hint now, and I'll, I'll answer it later. Later. 
if you were doing shorts since the day you got on YouTube, you would legit have two times the amount of followers. It is what it is, man. Shorts don't actually get long-term viewers, though. Who's Strickland when he gets the rematch because he would have won? Who's Strickland when he gets the rematch because he won? He's not going to get the rematch. But, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever do shorts. There's a chance if I really think it'll make a difference and I'm like, fuck, I can do the time to make shorts. I'll do my best, but, yeah. I don't know. It's just take too much extra time to clip out my videos. But your content is legit. You would get followers. TikTok people get paid. You sure would. Someone make me a TikTok and start, start posting TikToks. Kind of having a trouble regarding watching back saved recordings. That doesn't make any sense. I have no idea what that would be. I would just double check all your record recording settings. Drikus a ho since you got the belt. Drikus. Yeah. Either way, Strickland got an undeserved title shot. Never, ever defended the belt. So. So. Yeah. It's just crazy to me. That all of a sudden people are telling me to do shorts. I'll look into it again one day. And if it really, if I really think it'll be beneficial, I don't think it will be right now. I don't think it will be right now. I just don't think it's worth it. It's too much time for nothing, basically. Because the people that I find... Or people that I... um. The people who watch shorts don't typically watch a lot of long form content. But it does tell me. It does tell me though. It does tell me though people do. There's people who watch shorts who watch my channel. So let me actually listen to this real quick. Boop, boop. Joey versus Pereira at 300 if Hill pulls out. Sure. Now just book his brother. I'm done. Oh. We're going to finish Connor the way I plan on finishing him. Damn, now I got to do a post fight, boys. Got to do my post fight here shortly, boys. It is what it is. What a card. What a card. Can you boys like the stream? Can you boys like the stream? I'm also going to link to link a video. I want it to get to 100K. So if you guys could all go watch it. If you haven't watched it, watch it. If you watched it, watch it again. Or just let it play in the background. Um, like it, comment on it, all that good stuff. I'm going to post a video. It's Conor McGregor basically tweaking off of drugs, basically. And uh, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you guys would go check it out. Here it is. Boost it. It kind of slowed down during the fights. So, um, yeah, boys and girls. Men and women. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you very much. Go to the link in chat. Even if you watched it, watch it again. Boost it in the algorithm. Let's get it to 100K. 200K videos. First time ever in one week. In one week, 200K videos. If you guys boost it back in the algorithm. This is actually important. So, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go record my post-fight. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Like the stream on your way out. And I will talk to you guys later. Appreciate you for joining me. Check out the post fight when it comes out. Good night.